any any major questions i think we can pretty much get started off off of there yeah so first we have to do setup so basically in turn order uh each player places two ships and one building at a planet with an empty building slot and a system with imperial ships and then gain a matching resource okay so i have initiative so i will go ahead and start um and i am going to i think put two ships and a city in this fuel system to begin okay. all right then it is a uh, robert's turn oh and I then I, I get a fuel take two ships and place them here okay with a city and then you get a relic to start here you go. all right uh, and then we go back in turn order and do it again so Jack you get to place another two ships in a city or a star or a building not, any building why can I not grab all right okay. are you not able to grab a resource uh-uh oh there it goes is like locked that's weird okay <laughs> yeah i saw how you put that on the one key Ethan. i just threw it on your board <laughs> jack we're on the same team you are my, literally <laughs> you are literally my admiral bro <laughs> oh admiral my admiral all right so we do two ships in a building do we do that twice yeah so you, it goes back okay. so it goes start to view <laughs> and then back again so i already did mine yeah it starts with you and goes back again you get to do it twice in a row. You get to do uh -huh. it twice in a row. Oh yeah, I should probably build a star for it. Um, but what would I wear? But what would I wear? <laughs> I love that movie so much. I think. And then after Ooh, we after we set up, we can explain each other's plot lines. Oh yeah. So we know what's what's going on. Even though obviously we're all on the same team and we all stay on the same team throughout the whole game, right? Right, Robert? We are all on the same team. We are all on the same team. Nobody's uh, going to be dropping no. out of the Empire, right? Nobody's really... going to be uh, declaring outlawship, right, Robert? Because the Empire nope. frowns upon such open treason. Uh, yes, ab absolutely. I am I'm 100%. Uh -oh. 100% behind it. Let's go. Uh -oh. Ooh, roll. <laughs> Uh, I think, guys, I'm just the Emirates of Hakan. Okay, we you should just are literally just the Emirates of Hakan. We should just trade with each other, y'all. Why are we all so aggressive? I think I'm. I think I'm gonna put those fellas there. That's not Isn't an imperial. That, not an imperial yeah, system. Gotta be controlled by them. Gotta start in the empire, bro. You're right. I gotta stay with. With Robert was trying there. to get that smoke early game. <laughs> hey, listen, no, there's some, there's some cool fellas. They're they're cool. I'm I'm down for it. Um, <laughs> and then do I do I get a materials or no? Yeah, you get whatever. Yeah, whatever matching. I'm actually gonna do a second city. I need a um, weapons. I'm gonna do a second city, and I don't know. I I, I kind of that. I kind of want weapons, but also I'm just a humble trader. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing much fighting yeah, in the first act. I so. really thought about doing two cities because I am able to use and control all imperial ships, irregardless of what pieces are there. So I yeah. I didn't. I don't know if I really need a starport, but I figured I might as well go ahead and get one out there. Let's see, in the summit, can you trade guild cards? doesn't look like it yet i bet you that's something that can happen Ooh. later Killed. okay um well you guys both took the materials which kind of stinks but that's okay um i guess i'll come hey, over here to this I, I, i'm willing i'm definitely willing to you know we, it seems we're in a very mutual system here yeah i think i feel pretty uh, uh, i feel pretty shunned over here I'm not gonna well lie. hold on i haven't decided like, the problem is uh, i don't know if i need weapons but i don't know if i, I don't really think i need another fuel I what wanted. Have to fear, brother? I wanted to grab materials, but yeah, I'm gonna come over here. Home into the warm embrace of the empire. Hey, 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 
Hey, the Empire's got a really open marketplace. Empire is um, so great. Okay, so I guess since I'm with initiative, I'll start. I am the magnate, so I'm just a humble trader. Uh, I'm trying to corner the market and dominate the reach with my commercial prowess. Uh, so in this first round, basically, uh, I just have to close a bunch of deals. Um, so I can move down two times on the power track anytime you guys give me a favor or resource during a summit. Uh, and then also at any point during a summit, I can move down to... Um, two spots by just <clears throat> discarding three resources. So I'm just closing a bunch of deals. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I forgot to grab a relic. What about, uh, what about you, uh, Robert? Uh, yes, I am I am the founder. My name is Ray Kroc. Uh, <laughs> my plan is to uh, inspire confidence in the cause to, to spread the free McDonald's market across the galaxy. Um, and to build an open marketplace. We all deserve uh, happy meals, not just the Empire. I, he's the founder spends a lot of time on R slash politics <laughs> and uh occasionally gets into arguments with his family at Thanksgiving over the definition of a libertarian because it seems that nobody in his family understands. Nice. <laughs> So what you're founding is a McDonald's chain, basically. It's, put put it's, simply, uh, it it's bigger. But bigger but Robert, than, the geez. Empire oh, outlawed just... McDonald's. It's not allowed in the Empire. Remember? Yeah, and well, you know what? <laughs> the Empire has some outdated ideas. Outdated. That's uh, everything and, the Empire has ever done is the frankly, best it ever could I be. Think, you know, hey, listen, we're we're trying to start a movement. Okay, we're going to this school called Berkeley. Uh. <laughs> You, I can't. Never mind. I'm, not that joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't do it. Have you guys watched the trial of the Chicago Seven? That's going to be me. It's been on my in list. Like five oh turns. Holy crap. Nice. I'm, uh, I'm Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh All right, Jack. Lord. I'm sure you're a peaceful, peaceful bloke. You're you're open uh, to yeah, open to I'm new ideas. Oh, he's he's a cool. Dude. I believe that everything the Empire ever did and ever done was the best that ever could have ever been done. And some say the Empire's crumbling, and they're just wrong, because I am going to ensure it stays glorious and becomes more glorious than it ever was. <laughs> uh, my primary objectives are to restore the now decrepit, disabled foundries so that I may build more Imperial ships, because I get to use all Imperial pieces as my own. And uh, I, I'm i really trying to restore foundries and have a lot of Imperial ships on the board. Those are my goals. What are the, do the foundries and, do anything? Yeah, so if I, if I control, or actually if a foundry is restored, um, I may build ships, including Imperial ships, at any foundries. Okay. Um, even if, like with just a build action. And in a system with a restored foundry, I may repair any number of loyal ships and Imperial ships for free. Um, and a flagship upgrade. So the foundries the help you build and repair, repair imperial ships, basically. Like pretty much, yeah. You're, you're going to be controlling the imperial fleet. Wow. Yeah. Free? That, yeah. Yeah. Wow. At least I assume it's for free. It says in a system with a restored foundry, you may repair any number of oh, I mean, I'm, ships. I'm, I'm yeah. Well, saying, these, yeah, these know, are the, what, the linked the to the repair do action. You? What yeah. do they? They just pay your salary. Yeah. Do you even you know get paid what? enough? Like what? I uh, I'm so content. I'm so happy with my position, Robert. So he is so, so high up. You know. He's actually allowed to eat McDonald's without being oh, no. executed. <laughs> so we don't need to tell anyone about that. All right. The first regent has some special privileges. I which I cannot nobody believe else needs to know about. that the Empire would play favorites like that. That people uh, who are just uh, the, the working man. Is trying the, to eat McDonald's and get it wherever they need to, okay? It's Without... like the Empire always says, the working man doesn't need to worry about his rights because the Empire <laughs> worries about his rights for him. Hey, that, right? that makes sense to me. <laughs> but you, I, we're gonna seems insert, legit. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna build up worker safety. We're gonna put in this thing called OSHA. All you right. Don't, what? I don't like the sound you know, of that. I don't know what it is, but it know, sounds anti-imperial. As I'm you're thinking not, about you're not it, gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to. Uh, wear non-slip resistant shoes on a dry in dry dock oh my. In next, thing you're, next thing you say is that there's going to be a, a, a minimum 
age for workers. Like, we're going to kick the children <laughs> yeah. out of the factories. I have yes. never heard such nonsense. You know why? Because we're going to put That's in it. Uh, uh, declare public. war. Where's the declare war button? <laughs> I want to take the kid. He wants to take the kids out of the factories, y'all. What is this nonsense? <laughs> All right. Um... Alrighty. Anyways, you have initiative writing. Yes, I have initiative. Draw six cards, Jack. We can begin. <laughs> I'm also now that I'm thinking about it, I also think I might either I benefit from also being an outlaw or the first region. Um, so I want that, yeah. Jack. Just so you yeah, know. I think I think this is really actually a good spread that we yeah. picked because guys, mm -hmm. I mean, meta gaming a bit, but mm -hmm. like Jack <laughs> is so pro Empire. He is very. My guy is so. Pro. It's gonna be fun. I, I like our picks. And yeah, you, like you're you're the middle ground. I'm just chilling. Like it. You can go either way. I'm the I'm uh, basically. Here's what I learned. Um, Robert, you are the foundation from the foundation series. You're Harry mm -hmm. Seldon, basically. Mm -hmm. um, that's what you're doing. I Not watch education. Well, or you haven't read it either. No. It's good. It's really good. It's, it's pretty good. interesting. I, that's I literally what you're doing. Show, I'm still, but the but books are good. The show is good still too. Doing the expanse, dude. Oh, okay. That's fair. You should oh, keep doing dude, the expanse. Yes. Okay. I've almost finished book six. All right, anyway, sorry. All right. I am guys, I'm just gonna keep things simple. We're just gonna go for a very simple two mobilization. We're gonna throw out Tycoon mm. as the first ambition. Um mm. and I do I wanna move anywhere? Probably. Um <laughs> Well, I definitely, here's the thing. I don't want to move out into the blight, but I need to for my position. Um, okay, so where do I want to establish? What do I want? Let's move. We'll move out into this gate for one. And then I am going to, you know what? I'm going to influence the first regent three times. Oh my word. I, I want it, bro. I want to collect I the tax. I feel attacked. I want to collect the tax. How do we... How is a summit called again? Uh, when an event uh, card is played? Yeah, when an event card, yeah, card is played. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Robert. You get to go next. <sighs> you know, uh, I think... I just... this This whole thing is really... I hate that we don't get any psionic systems in our little imperial mm -hmm. sector. It's you know we can. If our admiral get, could go out and battle some of this blight for us, I think I think that'd be really helpful. You know, if I think I'm I'd uh, I think I'd need a little incentive to do that, boys. I uh, I mean maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm going to. I think I'm just I'm gonna copy. Okay. Um, and first I'm I'm gonna spend a material. By the way, build. don't forget we only have three hands in this game, just so y'all know. Mm -hmm. So in this act, I don't know if that means it'll be shorter or like strangely longer. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Build another ship. Gonna put that there. Build. Oh, and, uh, I, I am going to also influence, uh, but I, I'm only gonna do it once. You know, mm -hmm. I'm only gonna. I can only. I only get to do it once. Yeah, so I can only I get think, one action off the. Card. I think I'm gonna influence the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers is cool. That's actually would probably be really useful for you since you're mm -hmm. definitely definitely gonna stay in the empire, right? It's to help out the empire's. <laughs> Yeah, Start absolutely not absolutely. gonna leave. Absolutely. Hey, okay. hey, you been wiretapping me? You been listening in on my phones? Uh, I should have the moved Empire this. Does what it needs. I should have moved right. this imperial ship with me. You don't need. You don't need to have privacy. Right. <laughs> privacy is for people who have something illegal to hide. So. It's more like I want to bring the empire out to to fight the blight. That's basically what I want. Um, All right, Jack. What are you doing? Ah, uh, I did not know. You know what I want to know? Why can't we trade with the Blight? I'm sure they've got resources. Isn't there like a Blight speaker card that yeah, like I think I think it's off the Blight? I think it's a B it's an plot. Act two. Yeah, yeah, like an Act 2. Plot, Suddenly yeah. you're on, on the same side as the Blight and trying to keep them alive. Mm. It's kind of like mm. the um, that faction Eclipse, I think, that like is on like the Ancients side. Yeah. 
thing. So, let's see. I can copy all my messages. Sorry, I'm really just, I don't really know what I want to do at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of tricky because like it's not just this game. It's like, wh what do I even want to do? Well, and I also only have three hands. I'm like, what is gonna actually get me down? Um, yeah, gonna help me out here. So I think I'm also gonna follow. Mm -hmm. Oh, whenever I declare um, an ambition, by the way, I get to put two resources on Merchant League. It's, it's something I can like give away to trade to other people during the summits. So I'll when you take... declare an ambition, gain one resource you don't have. Okay. Mm. Nice. Cool. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be taking one move action, and I'm going to move... What is that from? From following. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Where is the card that you read that when you declare an ambition, gain a resource you don't have? That's what your Merchant League says. Uh, when you declare an ambition, gain one resource you don't have. No, that is not. I must have the new card. You might have to reload the, the mod. You might not have the updated one. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what it reads for me. Really? Yeah. Ethan broke again. I did not break the game. You might just have to reload. Uh, mine basically says, um, when I declare an ambition, I place two resources on this card, and then during the summit, I can trade these to other people. Basically. Is it supposed? Is mod caching supposed to be like checkmarked or unchecked It's supposed to be checkmarked, but after. Okay, mine was. Okay. Like when I started up the. I would thing. uncheck it and then reload and then check it again. Basically. Okay. You turn it when you turn mod caching on, it like kind of saves the state that you were okay. in. So I don't so know. Then quit and come back out. Well, I think you should just be able to hit game. Well, I guess quit and come back out. Yeah, probably. Because I'm the one like who's loading. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Anyway, basically, I just get two free resources that I can that I can trade around. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you're not cheating. <laughs> what kind of resources interest y'all? Like, psionics seems to be pretty flexible, but are y'all interested in maybe a weapons trade later? What a relics. Yeah, Honestly, materials and materials. Hey, hey, and hey, 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 we've got plenty. Of well, yeah, we've got those. Here. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll put. Well, I want all of them. So frick you. Oh, oh, so you're gonna corner the marketplace? You're gonna corner the free market that the empire was founded on? Free market sounds very anti-empire, Robert. The market doesn't need to be free if the <laughs> empire's tax, in charge of it. Just tax the free market. You Guys, don't have to control it. I think we can all agree the Belters, they deserved it. You know? They deserve they deserve the oppression. I freaking had everything coming, what? bro. Yeah. <laughs> I I am the OPA. Uh, this is me. Look, guys, the an the the Belters' ancestors chose for them to have those positions and jobs. They basically decided for their descendants to be oppressed, and their descendants should just be okay with that. Oh, okay. I see it now, Ethan. There there we go. Okay. So okay. now turn now on. on cash now turn on. on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So, um. Anyway, what did I do? I copied. So I am going to move one of my ships and one of the Imperial ships. Hey, 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 ship. hey! What are you doing over there? What I think, I think he's battling the blight for us. There's no blight, blight in this tile. There's a neutral city. Yeah, it's it's and, empty. And a foundry. Yeah, a blight foundry. blight doesn't start on the systems with the uh, free cities, as far as I understood. Yeah. Um, so. And so I I'm I want to go ahead and restore this foundry. Mm -hmm. I assume I can just do that at any time. It just says uh, spin one material or fuel. Uh, yeah, but it has to be during. Uh, you see, because repairs in parentheses, that means you do that in place of a repair action. So. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Yeah. So that's a repair All action right, that you well, can use. So I can only take the one move action. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's annoying. I, to be honest, y'all wanted somebody to take the uh, initiative from me, so I'm a little bit annoyed. I physically, could not. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit annoyed. If you wanted, I mean, if you wanted to pass it, you could have. I could have. Well, I, well, I, no, 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 no. Like, I wanted to declare tycoon and move a little bit, but then I wanted somebody to take it. So, do I want to pass it now? That's the question. Or do I want to go ahead and? I'm really thinking about expanding. Expanding over to you know system like five, mm. I really think that that's a cool place. You know, <laughs> so. it's just a really neat spot. I just think they're neat. Uh, I just think they're neat. Let me think about this. I. Ooh, that's risky but fun. Those let you do oh, relics let you secure. 
I will play a six mobilization. I'll go ahead and declare. Dude, quit playing mobilization. I'll declare. I will pass. About? I will move one, and then for my second action, I will move two. Woo! That yeah, go. Okay. Wow. We are we are moving Jeez. the empire into the system. All right, that's it for me. So I'm getting the vibe that y'all don't have mobilization cards in your hands. I, I'm not. You're not supposed to reveal this. I literally have none, Ethan. This is it's really freaking annoying. Well, then I'm letting y'all move into position before I pass the initiative. Y'all should be thankful. Yeah, by taking one action a turn. Do you not have right. fuel? Just uh, get some fuel, my guy. Oh well, yeah, real easy. Dude. Just get that real quick. Just uh, move the policy to growth and tax everybody's resources. You can't move the policy until uh. You win it. It's true. Until an edict. I, I think I, I got a copy again. Don't still, forget, you can also seize the initiative by discarding a card, y'all. Yeah, but I don't know about you that. You still have to, like, copy or pivot, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Which I I'm, guess... I'm going to spend know. my relic, by the way. Oh, you're going to secure uh, the... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to... By the way... I guess seizing the initiative makes a lot more sense when you only have three... Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that we need to secure this. I am saying that crises is rough. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Actually, I might secure this just to deal damage to the blight here for free. I oh, know it's a decent card. Oh, in a cluster, a whole cluster. Yeah, in a whole cluster. I could, we could clear out, almost clear out this entire cluster if we secure that. Yeah, that's so true. This card is to gain material. So I think, uh, I think I'm, of... I'm just gonna move these three fellas boom yes and i have to stop there because blight right? yes correct all right that's okay jack okay what to do what to do gatekeepers is fun i really just want to be able to take more than one action truthfully Oh. Mmm, mm, it'd be spicy, that's for sure. You're thinking about an event card? I'm just thinking about what action I want to take next. I might do that. I don't foresee any other really use well yeah i might just do that okay i guess i'm gonna pivot mm, to construction so now and i'll go ahead and repair this foundry okay. for one material and that will nice take down my objective by three one two three so you're down to 17. Mm -hmm. nice um so what is the um the x on the clock is that just the that is at the end of our hand, yeah. if I win first place in any ambitions, I take the counter down by how many Imperial ships are on the board. Okay. Okay. I guess because there's no colon, it's like a little, the way that's written is a little weird. It's, it's, uh, that's why I asked you about it. It's written yeah. very weird, but, yeah. um, I think yeah, that makes sense. At the end of every hand, however many Imperial ships are on the map when you get first place, yes. you'll move down. So yeah. this, so Admiral could either be really easy or really hard. Mm hmm. Yeah. If all the ships get wiped out, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Or if I can't win any ambitions. Gotcha. That's rough. Okay. That is true. You have to win one to, to make it. Yeah. But if you win one and there are a lot, you could potentially drop down quite a bit. Mm-hmm. So, you could, yeah. Like so I could. even just doing it once would be a big help. Yeah. Especially with foundries, you can build more Imperial ships, so it'll come down. Mm -hmm. All right. What happened? Um, Jack restored this foundry. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, that's um, going to provide a lot of business for that neutral city right there. You know, yeah. they, they need jobs. I yeah, will. I will pass the brother. initiative. By the way. Oh. Hi, right, Robert. Give us something good. I. You know. I should have. It's okay. I think I, I think I will, because I am. What do you got? Benevolent man. Uh, what are you gonna do? 
<clears throat> gonna play an aggression card. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not an outlaw yet, so he can't battle. Well, I guess oh, he could battle the blight. That's true. He could battle the blight. blight. Yeah. And that is, you know, that's what I wanted to do. However, I I think there's some important. Uh, uh, you know, I, hmm. I don't know why we're all acting like we're not on the same team, y'all. We're all part of the empire. The empire has You're our right. best interests at heart. All right, like, I gotta. Let's just be honest. That's real, real quick. I'm not going to declare the ambition, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I am. I am going to tax uh, my relic, relic system. Robert, Frick. And okay. then uh, I think I am going to influence. Hmm. I'll you know I'll go on ahead and influence the yeah. uh, the blight. Yeah. I'll influence. The that's blight. actually pretty good. If you want to destroy the blight in this uh, cluster, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I you know I'm. Yeah. All right, Jack, what you got? Dude, I literally... You needed anything but administration? Anything but a six. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. So I could actually take more than one action this turn. Um. Hey, it's okay. I only got to take one action for the past two Listen, turns as well. bureaucracy is a slow process. When you're an admiral, you're like a politician now. Like, you don't get as much done as you think you will, you know? I'm about to start just freaking smoking fools. That's what I'm about to start doing. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, a politics game. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't even know what's better here. I'm gonna pivot. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna move both these imperial ships to right here. Can... Oh, man, Jack, I'm trying to get rid of this blight, my guy. <laughs> Come on, why? Stop. <laughs> what is the? Why, why would you do that to me? We're on the same side. <laughs> the has its own motives, peon. Literally, I'm. That makes that actually makes me so angry. Jack, Admiral Jack. I mean, no, it's a good move, but literally, screw you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you intending on damaging these imperial ships for your I'm, own? I'm gain? trying to help clear your empire of these blight. These are valuable empire ships, which must be used to protect. The free cities of this universe. I cannot, I cannot wait until the founder uh, goes outlaw and destroys your imperial ships. Hey, it's hey, going hey, to be hey, 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 wait a minute, who's an outlaw? What are you doing putting words in my mouth? You say I'm going to be an outlaw? What's, what, what, what makes you say that? <laughs> Who said What's that? that? I don't, um, I don't even know what that word means. Is now, I'm wondering if now is the right time. Probably not. I don't. I'll be honest, y'all. Since this is our first game, I do have an event card, and I'm thinking about playing it so I could take two actions. But also, mm -hmm. the potential of the Blight Looms, I, especially I, after uh, he moved the Imperial Fleet out of my system, is listen, really, really hard. One, if you can wait one turn, yeah, okay. you know, I can... I got you. That's fine. I will copy, then, and I will tax uh, for fuel. Yeah. That's a good idea. Very smart. Yeah. Very good idea. Thank you. I wonder if, if technically, because I control the Imperial Fleet... All right, Robert, what you doing? <laughs> you ignore Imperial uh, Law for presence and... Oh, not battling. Okay. So I am first going to... I'm just going to go on ahead and do that. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm, I won't declare an ambition because I feel like, you know, I rent this early on. But what if you did, though? I, it would be really difficult for him to do. <laughs> yeah. That would be so hard. I mean, you can ta you'd be able to tax me here, Robert, and get an agent that way. Uh, yes, but why would I do that? That's so well, Robert. Mean. You would do it so that I could surpass and do exactly what I want to do at the end of my hand, exactly the way I want to do it, which is more important as the humble trader of this game. Man, that really sucks. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to secure the blight. All right. What cluster are you going to? Uh... I think obviously uh, this one, this one right here. So okay. all of these get damaged. This yeah. one gets taken away. Yeah. That is mine. That one. Mine. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> My blight. And it's buried, yeah. so it goes at the bottom of the uh, deck. And I. That's that's my agent. That's my little agent boy. Nice. 
And so then I'm. You have done. Play. You have done your empire a great service. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I'm. I'm gonna move all these guys. Hmm. Into. Into the weapon system. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, hold on. Wait, really no, funny. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm going to put them in the psionics. Ah, okay. Psionics. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh... But mom. <laughs> Don't worry. The empire is here to help you. Thank you. All right, uh, Jack. What are you doing? Dude, I don't freaking know. I feel like I. Listen, I there's two tough. two whole hands after this, you know. A lot can be yeah, done. I know, but I need to, like, I literally need one round where I take more than one action to at least then maybe, try and, maybe, and test an ambition. Maybe you seize then, probably, but then you'd have one card left, right? Right, which would mean... Or, yeah. I'd have one card left, which would help. Would it help me do what I want to do, though? No, it would not, because then I couldn't do that. Crack. And you want to do that? Crack. That's pretty true. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it to him. Huh. Okay. I'm kind of thinking about doing this. That might help me. Or should I don't do remember it? when a summit is called. I can give you guys psionics so you can do extra actions of the lead card. It'll be super useful, you guys. Yeah, but you are. Listen, as the right river, now, as the Riverfolk Company. Game. Ask the Riverfolk Company. Just, the Riverfolk just company. give me more no, funds. Get out of here. Give me more funds. Get out of here with that. Now, Admiral Jack, uh, I think it is important that you declare some ambitions. So I, yeah. Jack, I might be willing to pass the initiative to you. Well, That's you can't. You already. Yeah. Right now, Jack has to play a card. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you card. know, after the next turn. Oh, I see. Nice. Uh, because I, I don't think it's fair that the you know the magnate Ethan over there has declared both ambitions. So ambitions far. Consider yeah. yes, but consider remember there's no immediate need to knock people down in this first act. There is so much more game to be had, so many more things to unlock. Also, yeah, at the end of every power. act, at the end of everybody act, everybody has the amount of power that they have. So we'll all be hmm. we'll all be kept in check. Oh, and by the way, Robert, I forgot to mention this. You have to spend power for the difference um, of your objective marker to your actual, like power uh, to the to the um, like. For instance, if I ended the game here, I would have to spend ten power at the end of the round. And you can dip into the negative. And if you're in negative power, you cannot score. You cannot win by the C plot alternate win condition unless you're at least at least have one positive power. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm taking a while. Sorry. Um, I'm so glad I did not choose the noble. Empire is <laughs> slow. Yeah, Jack. Did you watch the game that I uploaded the other day where Robert was the noble and got like scored zero points the whole game? No, I did not. <laughs> the noble starts with a bunch of cards, but can only score points if they get first place. And Damn, he was it was, dude. it was shaping up to be a good game, but then yeah. I. Just... <sighs> That's nuts. Yeah, that that would be really difficult. You'd you'd have to get like, I feel like you have to get perfect hands for something like that. Yeah. Well, I I had all of the means necessary to like start putting myself like putting the engine in place so that I would get a lot of points later on. Mm -hmm. But then I just got decimated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pivot. I guess. People. And Ethan. And I'm going to influence this for one. Okay. Uh, let me think. This is what I want to do. I think so. I'll surpass. Okay. I'll okay. Take okay. this, and I will do a battle action here. So I've got three ships because I have Empire ship right here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a red and two blue. I just need to deal two damage to kill this blight. This is all, that's all I need to do. Excellent. All right, so I damaged one of my ships. Wait, can I damage the Imperial ship? Right? Um, I think you can. Battle and attacks with Imperial ships add loyal when attacking. You may damage them in battle when attacking. You may damage them when attacking, when taxing outlaw or free cities. Huh? 
You may damage them when taxing outlaw or free cities. That doesn't make any sense. I feel... You cannot battle or damage imperial pieces. That's steering when you're like. That's steering, like, yeah. When you're I think around. I can damage this imperial ship. I think I remember something about it. I thought it worked the way like the river folk mercenaries worked in Root. Like you can't throw all the damage onto there, but you can. You may oh imperial ships add to the loyal ships in battle when attacking, and you may damage them when taxing taxing outlaw, outlaw or, free city. or free cities. What does that mean? Am I reading taxing wrong? I think it's a typo. <laughs> it's got to be a typo, dude. Like, uh, I don't, I don't maybe. know. Let's just make a ruling for now that I guess I can damage it. That's and if fine. we if we find uh, something later in the game, I'll 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 undo it. Okay. I say we just play like river folk rules where you can't like. Just damage imperial ships. Like you have to do one and one. one well, and one, there's like an that. there's an order when the blight deals damage, but I don't know about. Um, it does. If there's imperial ships, it only damages the imperial ships. The blight does. Yeah. Uh, da, da. I, don't know. Oh. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's. What's your second action, Ethan? Yeah, imperial ships in the battle. Okay. Um. My second, I guess I should do a move somewhere, but um, I mean, I, maybe in maybe into this area <clears> where the <throat> boundary is. That is an imperial sector. Maybe you have I, no need I, to be there. I mean, See, actually, but then Ethan, you can control. I will system. move one ship into that that system actually, and keep these two here. I mean, I still yeah. control it, but I well, yeah, but I I can also tax here if I want to later as well, so same because i'm all right anyway yep okay uh all right now it is my turn i was really hoping that somebody would lead with a construction at some point but it's whatever at this point um i will do uh because i wanted to get some extra buildings but i'll do this i will tax this free city for a material um i will tax this city for a fuel i'm gonna get rid of this relic Uh, and then I can repair or influence. I will influence the first region court just one more time. Uh. Um, I will influence sworn guardians as well. All right, that's that's me. All right, Robert. I think I will pivot. Pivot and build. I uh, I think I'll I'll build a city. Nice. nice. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, I'm playing an event card. That's what I was waiting for. Ah! I mean, taking those four actions is going to help me a lot. So. Yeah, I figured. I am. Hey, okay, I was to... doing it to help my admiral. Remember this, Jack? When we <laughs> open trading here in a second. Uh, I can. I can, Jack. Here. I can give you psionic to help you win empath. I'm, I'll I'll help you out, bro. That is a consideration. I will hook you up, my dog. So okay, can I go ahead and spend my weapons with that? Yeah. Like yeah, before you take... action. Okay, so I am gonna spend this because you want to battle um, to also let me battle. Well, I mean, I guess I really don't want to battle anywhere specific. I just don't want it in my hold at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna spend it to free up space. Um, I'm taxing my materials. You can here. also secure. Oh wait, no battle, not secure. Sorry, that's weapons. Anyway, uh, um, taxing a material. Hmm. Dadgum, yeah, I don't know if I can win Tycoon at this point. Listen, bro, I can get you empath. That's true. But why would you give him empath? Because we're on the same team. Aren't we all? We're cooperating right now. Listen, I if would. I want, I, 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 yeah, Ethan, I, I control a psionic sector right now. How yeah, does but that it's, trading work? Do I just? It's gonna happen when we do the summit, but we're not there yet. You're doing. Oh, that's right. You're doing your actions right now. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So I text for that material. Bueno. I can also repair or influence, but as a repair action, I can spend one material or fuel to flip a buried boundary. 
um, because this allows me to do a repair action. So I'm going to flip this foundry here. Nice. That will reduce it by three again. One, two, three. So have you repaired? Guys, I'm two almost foundries? close to you. Look at that. <laughs> almost close to you. Remember, this is not an indication of winning the game. This is the winning game, Robert. So there's no. I don't, I don't think we need to be mm. aggressive yet in blocking you each other's objectives. It's just that the first act. Boundaries. If you reason, you may build them. ships at them. Um. Okay. So that's two actions. I'm going to influence this card again. So that's three actions total. Um, what else do we have here? Mining interest is a good card. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Also interesting. Um, I think I'm going to tax a final time and take another material. Okay. Okay. All right. So after that round ends, we yeah. check initiative. I maintain initiative. The player with initiative may mm -hmm. call a summit. So I will call a summit. Everybody. Surprising. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to Mechatol Rex. Trade is now open. Uh, deals can be made. So we can take any number of these summit actions at any point. So okay. I'll open with my deal to you, Jack. I can trade these, uh, these psionics I have with my merchant league. I can give you these psionic mm -hmm. resources to help you compete. Compete against Robert for psionic. Um, I will definitely... I can't even compete. Even if you just win it this round, that'll drop you down quite a bit. I think... Yeah. I will, um, yes. I you, definitely want those psionics. Okay. This is just so typical. Do you want to trade a psionic for a material? Or a um, favor for later, maybe? Well, Since I'm basically helping you with Yeah, but I can, I can trade your card. No, I can trade them out. Um, like, you just give me material, I could put a fuel away. Hmm. And replace it. What do the favors do again? They allow you to. I take an agent as a favor, and basically, in later summits, I can spend those to like force you to do summit actions for me. So like, mm. I'm basically giving you a bunch of objective points here. So like, I feel like two oh, psionics oh, for two psionics for two favors, or for a favor and a material. I, I would I'd... consider one favor for two psionics. One favor for two psionics. Mm -hmm. That's quite a bit. Because it's just one summit you, action, bro. You know, it's not yeah, like but you could force me to leave the empire, right? I guess that's true. That's kind of whack. Yeah. Is that in that? Is that really hold up? There's no way. Let me look, but <laughs> that you, thing's you so strong. At the start, right? of, at the start of a summit you've called, you may return any number of rivals' favors to them. When you return a favor to a rival, you force them to take a summit action, and you choose. In the way that, and you choose the way that it happens. So yeah, you could One just force someone. You could force uh, someone to leave the empire. But don't forget that, like in any other summits, they could just choose to come back into the empire. So like, you that's know. true. Get one captive trophy paper or resource little piece. Listen, Jack. I'll be honest. Like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna remove you from the empire. We're helping each other out, dog. We're on the same team. You know. I don't know, but you're so conniving, Ethan. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I will. I will trade one favor for two psionics. How about one favor for one psionic? I'll do it for two. I feel like giving it for it's one, one favor. Is not I don't enough value because you can about, force me look, to do look, anything. Look, 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 Jack. Two psionics for one favor and your material. You're already losing tycoon, and you can use your yeah, mining but I interest need later. The material to play foundries. You can use your problem. mining interest. You'll be able to get this mining interest though, Jack. Sorry, I don't want to play. Now, that Jack, all. remember if you give him a favor or a resource, he moves his uh okay his yes thing down yes to, yes that's what i'm that is true but listen guys listen i I'm think helping you out the, Ethan, in yes, addition to that is true thing. yes but one i'm only moving two spots i need to do this like five times you know I'm, and i'll be honest i do not, i'm not under the impression that we need to be super aggressive on stopping each other's objectives i mean i don't yet. think so either so but but two psionic no. is quite a bit jack because that's also future actions for the the next two rounds that you'll be able to use and really like psionic is super useful i'm not debating no, are you utility. not debating robert do, uh, would you have anything to it's offer utility. for i'm just saying that uh, would i have anything to offer lot. for those mm -hmm. uh t -t 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 -t. i'll I do a favor 
I will do a. F I don't know. I, don't I would. Know I would. I would happily give you one of the trophies that I have of blight, mm -hmm. so that hypothetically, if you know a warlord were to be declared, declared. the next turn, you would be the one with. Yeah. That ambition. Wait, I thought warlords only ships. It's, oh, it's, it's all it's trophies. trophies. All trophies. Oh. Certain things can be put into the trophies um, box. Yeah. I mean, Ethan, I will do a, a a favor and a material. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Here you go. All right. I've been doing business with you. Like that's a mistake, mm -hmm. but he said booth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, yeah, uh, Jack. Yes, Robert. So you, do you have any way of securing the mining interest right now? Um, well, not currently with the actions and everything, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, but, you know, imagine... I could try I'll... to, but... Yeah, uh, what, I'd be willing to trade you a, my relic for one of your psionics, so we can tie psionic, so we can tie empath. Mm, uh, see, I secure... have to win empath, though, that's the thing. <laughs> if I don't what win is... empath, then... I that whole deal is completely moot. Yeah. I care less about the three points and more about the fact that that's going to take my objective. He down basically just bit. needs to win an ambition so he can drop down a bunch on the track. Because honestly, I just want to see what phase two of this guy looks like. <laughs> this sounds yeah. pretty freaking cool. I want to see what phase two of everyone looks like, uh, guys. Yeah. Come on, we're all we're all on the we're all empire, y'all. Let's, don't why are we acting like we're competing? What are you doing, Donut? What are you doing, boy? I thought you were talking to us for a second, Jack, and oh, sorry, that really no. cracked sorry. me up. I forgot to mute my mic. It came up to me for hugs. This is how you we talk. To, this is how politicians talk to each other during summits. <laughs> yeah. You want to give me the say on it? Give you the crap. <laughs> when do you tax? Is that after trades? Yeah, it's after summit. We'll roll the event die, and maybe the oh, edict gets trigger. rolled. Maybe a crisis will happen. Oh, it can be edict or crisis. Yeah. Yeah, you fricker. You can take one of my psionics back. I'm not gonna take one of your psionics back. I'm gonna move it. To, <laughs> I, I wouldn't. At this moment, I'm thinking about moving it to growth. If I were to move the policy, that would yeah, be smart. Is. That would be really conniving, though, wouldn't it? That would be. I just noticed that. I was like, I fell right into. I'll be track. honest, Jack. I wish I was that smart. I was more thinking, ooh, with tycoon keeping being proclaimed, I can use growth. Well, but, you got freaking tycoon on lock. Yeah, I've dude, got to at the moment. Right now, at the moment, I do have it. At the moment, yes. Anyway, that is not. <laughs> I'll just let you know that's not what I was thinking. Okay. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yes, Jack. A little better. You wish. I just noticed it. I was like, well, I screwed myself. You wish you were a political mastermind like me, Jack. I know. I know, right. dude. All I know is ship, ship, battle, battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have fun playing your playing your political games while the little man. Are you gonna leave the empire, <laughs> Robert? <laughs> the lowly McDonald's. Not leaving the empire. I I love you know the empire is great. You're staying. I think the again? empire is doing awesome. Uh, Good. Good. I, mm -hmm. I just there's something about it that just makes me angry, you know. <laughs> something about it. Let's see. Declare an ambition as an outlaw at the end. Of, oh, so you really need to be an outlaw. Though. I need. Yeah, I need, need to be an outlaw, but, but it does not benefit me at all to do it right now. I know. Right now, that'd be. But what if you like keep waiting for the perfect moment and then it never presents itself and you stay in the empire? Because if I if I spread my, I mean, I have other ways of. Mm -hmm. Doing I kind of like that, dude, because you can still use the Imperial ships to, like, threaten the fact of, like, oh, you could turn, but then there's three Imperial ships right here to take you down. <laughs> mm. All right. All right. I, I think... No I more... Think so we no more summit roll. actions? Uh-uh. No. No. Okay. By the way, we can swap pieces around. Like, there's things... There's there's a couple things that it could be done. Like, yeah. let me see if there's anything... Yeah. Can, okay. Transfer loyal ships and system or pieces... Okay. If, Actually, yeah, uh, I'm done for now. No more. All right, going mm -hmm. once, going twice. Actually, uh, hey, hey, Jack. Mm -hmm. Um, oh wait, never mind. That has a foundry on it. Never mind. You're All not right. giving that up. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, if no more deals are made, let's go ahead and roll this event die. Edict, 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 edict. Yay! Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So. I don't think the the symbol on, on the scrolls mean anything. I don't believe. Um, so with an edict being, there you go. All right. All right. Um, first, Very you will well. you will determine the first regent, which is obviously me because I have four ages of the court. Uh, <laughs> Do they go away? 
Yes, they should. Okay, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> no, they no stay. They stay. Oh, they stay. <laughs> I'm just pumping <laughs> agents 20. into the court the whole time. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, give them. Yep. And then collect demand. Return all agents from the first region card. Okay. So then we do first region acts. Uh, so the first regent may collect an imperial domain. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we've done this. So now we come here. Uh, I can declare... Oh, I can collect the imperial demand. Take one piece allowed by the imperial policy from each other regent. If a regent has no allowed pieces, you may take one favor. Their set. Oh, so I can't change the policy until after. No. Okay, well... Do I have to? I, it looks I don't like know. I think you have to. Can I declare relic instead? Oh, I think it just... You guys just have to give it to me. It's not like I declare one. Yeah. Okay, I will give it back, Jack. I'll give it back to you uh, in, in the next but, edict. Okay, so what happens where, where if you, you can't it? hold it because you physically have no spaces? Well, I can just swap out resources, or I can put it back in the supply. Um, here, I'll keep it though for now. I'll replace it with a fuel. I'm not going to keep a relic. I don't need that. <laughs> get that nonsense out of here. Yeah, get that out of here. Like I'll, I'll give this, Jack. I'll do it because I, 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 that wasn't on purpose. I'll give this back to you if we do another in another summit. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So after that, uh, then the first region governs. So I can take one of these actions. Um, I can't requisition any ships because we're in a time of peace. Uh, so I will change the imperial policy to growth. I think we're in a time of expansion, y'all. I think our empire is expanding with the help of our admiral. Uh, and I want more trade lanes to be open. So we're going, we're going straight to growth. Amen. All right. So I believe that is the entire phase because there was no crisis. So that goes back there. And... Now we you still will. Got initiative. I d we do yes. Um, mm. I will pass the initiative to you, Robert. Okay. Sorry, there's a reason. There's a reason for that. No, I understand. Excellent. Frick. No. All right. So I'm gonna build. Robert, yeah. I did the work of clearing this out for you. <laughs> no. Yeah, you little. Garbage. We did the work. <laughs> well, someone's I. Someone has to have Ethan has to have the event another event card, right? Like, I mean, he's got to. Because how many cards are left over after we deal them all out? Like six like, or seven, I think. Six or no, oh, so it's possible. Um, burger cheese burger. Actually, um, no, burger, I'm, not cheese, gonna, burger. I'm not gonna put that there. I guess Ethan, you don't even have to trade that to me. You could just spin that psionic, and it would do That's the same true. thing at this point. That's true. You're right. Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm torn between wanting to repair this imperial ship, but also knowing it'll help Jack out more. But I'm also I'm aligned with you, Jack. I will repair the imperial ship for you. Or also, I got all Maybe? this way so I could. Oh yeah, I can... yeah. We're all empire, bro, and we will all stay empire. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whatever right? you say. <laughs> Yeah, both yeah, y'all ganging yeah. up me, the little man. Little man. What's your deal? What's your beef? My beef is I haven't had the lead all game. <laughs> it's only the yeah. first hand. You think that's a mistake? Okay, Jack, what have you got? Um, I gotta figure out how to play this two aggression card I have. <laughs> um... Do I want to move or do I want to build something? I guess it, it could be a repair action, which... If you take the build action... Mm -hmm. I mean, you can. I could do that at any of my foundries. That might be better than any of my other plans to this point. I could secure mining interest. Securing is fun. We like securing things. Mm-hmm. Securing is very fun. Uh. I see, Robert, why you would not become an outlaw, because then I would. we could move this Imperial fleet in here yeah, and attack you. Yeah, I have control yeah. of the Imperial fleet, so You're like, that would be rough stuff. That's actually pretty smart. I guess we'll have mm. to p pivot up to this one if I want a Psionic City. 
Um, I also don't even need dang. empath right now. That might. Sorry, I'm taking so long to play my turns. You are, but it's okay. I don't know. Um, There's a lot I to think... consider, especially because you've yeah. got a, you've got a lot specifically going on. And and when I have like so few actions, it's like, what do I really really need to do more than anything else? Mm -hmm. I think long term, the best thing for me to do is secure mining interest. I think that's a pretty good move. There you go. That's that's smart. Oh no, because. Over the long run, I think that's that, going to help me more. That's not bad. Okay, uh, I will play this event card. Ooh, Very nice. I'll take two actions. I'll build a, a city. <laughs> Do I build, yeah, I want to build a city because I really need Boop. this. Okay, so I will build a city right there, and I will repair this Imperial ship. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Uh, and then when, who has initiative? Oh, oh Robert, do you want to call us do you want to call a summit? Oh. It's technically up to Robert. You just send your scion <laughs> oh, 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 uh. Well, I thought I was trading it to you. I'm sorry. I actually forgot that I could have spent it. I didn't have anywhere else to spend the thing is I didn't I literally didn't have anywhere else to do an action. So, so uh, everything uh, that happens during a summit is uh, we just can take summit actions, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you go down the row. Well, that you only go down the row if an edict is triggered. It might that's not. true, yeah. Could trigger a crisis, but that's really not a bad one at all. Yeah, the crisis one's not. I don't think I'm going to call a summit. Okay. All right, well, then we roll the event. ba 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 ba, -ba. All right, edict. So uh, first region does not change hands. Uh, I will collect either material or fuel from you guys, but I do not believe y'all have any, so y'all each have to give me a favor. It's funny how this all worked out really well. In I'm about favor. to really I'm about to acquire some ships for you, my Admiral Jack, okay? Yeah, and I'm Why not going to win anything. Uh, now I will govern. I will... Can I take any? Yes, I will hey, requisition... Jack, do you remember how he said uh, that we, we, you know... These ambitions, this this power tracker, that's how we win the game, and yet mm. he's either winning or tying both of them. Guys, mm. guys, y'all... After he said he was going to spend that psionic. I literally yeah. had no action to, to give. You can spend it without taking an action. I mean, in that case, I would be happy yeah. to do that. I would have. Uh, I literally like already passed. Jack, listen, listen. I know Ooh, we're talking so about how I'm scheming. Today. I know how we're talking about scheming. Literally, I just forgot. Okay, it's uh, the yeah, plain it's and simple good. answer. That's called the. Uh, it's anyway, I requisition the to ship. Maneuver. Uh, do I want? To, do we want to just shift into war or stay in growth? Uh yeah. I'll keep the policy where it's at. I like that. Anyway, I built a, uh, an imperial ship. Well, right hold here. on. Do do these take place yeah, when no. you don't do an edict? We did do an edict. That, no. A scroll is rolled. Oh, dang, you're right. See? All the summit does is let us negotiate, Robert. Right, the yeah, edict yeah. still takes place regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a summit, we roll this, and either an edict or a crisis happens. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, that is it for that hand, I believe. So, I mean, listen, I'm willing to retcon and say that I spent the psionics, so that's what we promised, Jack. Like, it really... Uh, I'm not. Oh, okay. All right. About to say that's why Robert didn't call. That's the why summit. Robert didn't call the summit. That's fair. Okay, well that's fair. You're right. I screwed up. Um, all right, so that's the end of the yeah, hand. We love a leader who will quote unquote accept their mistakes. All right, I'm at four with Psionic. Uh, Robert is at two, so I get four with Tycoon. Yeah. Oh yeah, with Tycoon. Sorry, so I get five, and Robert, you get two or three. What? Yeah. All right, uh, and then uh, with Empath, both Jack and I get two. Yay. Mm. Wow. That flips up. We move to hand two. And Robert. Uh, at the end of hand, control X system uh, for me. Okay. So that's, I control one, two, three. I control three systems. So. But you got to be an outlaw, Robert. Not right. for that one. Oh, oh, okay. Don't count empire controlled systems, even if you're a regent. So right? he's got one, two, three. Yeah. Three. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. There you go. All right. All right, Robert, you're first. So you get to draw first, then Jack, then me. Did somebody already draw? Oh, oops, my bad. I thought we just all drew. <laughs> There's an order of operations. 
I mean, I, I don't know if it ultimately matters too much. I'm gonna say for drawing cars, like, but all right. It matters for card counting. <laughs> all right. Okay. Come on, give me a decent hand this time. My hand is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. <laughs> My hand is also interesting. All right, Robert, well, you get the lead. I sure do. This is this is already like there's so much more. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, there should be something at the end of the. Wait, is there something at the end of the hand? I don't think so. Da, 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 da. Like what? Okay, never mind. Sorry. For some reason, I thought, oh, there's a blight attack. No, there's not. That's just for crises. Continue. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think I am going to administration. I will declare warlord as the ambition. Fine. And I am going to tax relic. Dionic, and I will influence Imperial Chaos. All right, Jack, what do you got? Oh, and when I declare an ambition, you may place one ship in a system with loyal ships. Get that puppy right there. Fun. I. I'm going to. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah, that would be real fun. I'm gonna play an event card. Oh. So I can take three actions, which is going to be. Oh, but still, Robert has the initiative. Mm-hmm. Oh, but actually, it doesn't matter because that would. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Doesn't matter either way. I'm gonna uh, definitely influence first regent twice. Smart. Um. Oh, I could go ahead and spin that to do that. That would give me. Hey, Ethan. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, with traveling from a starport, you can drop ships off, right? Or no, you have to pick them up. I would assume you can, I think. Uh, it, the rulebook specifically says you can pick things up as you go. It doesn't mention dropping off, but also, like, moving is, like, you can just move a group one here, and that's one move action, and then you can move any of those ships somewhere else, I believe. That's how yeah. that works. But I didn't know if, like, if I took this group of four, yeah. and, like, I took three, yeah, and then... Went to five, drop off, go to weapon system, drop off. I'm gonna spin my psionic. Oh, let me check it real back. quick. Yeah, cause I'm, that, cause that feels a little. I have, re to be honest, I have checked that, and I, I don't really know. Um, do do do. If you move from a system with a loyal starport, you may keep moving okay. ships as much as you want. Oh, dropping them off as you want until they move any planet. So yes, you can drop off. I think that was changed. And it was worded differently the first time I read it. Okay, so I spent my psionic to take an additional action of the lead card. So I influenced first regent twice and then taxed two systems for two material. Nice. Okay. Mm. I Good will play. Play. surpass. Mm. I will influence the first regent three times frick you sorry i mean in case there's a crisis is rolled it won't matter everyone has the perfect cards all right uh well i mean i don't have the perfect card he just declared an ambition which let me surpass which is nice okay what i would have loved to do so uh after checking initiative do i want to call a summit Yes, I do want to call think, a summit. I think calling a summit would be in. I will call a summit, um, indeed. So I am going for, let me just make sure. So it's at the start of a summit. 
I am going to return two favors to you, Jack. I want you to give me those two materials. I guess I guess we know what uh, you. ambition he wants to declare. No, actually, it's for my objective. Uh, because uh, at any point during a summit, I can uh, choose to discard any three resources to move my guy down to. You may do this twice if you have... I can do it sure. twice. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do it twice. Mm -hmm. um, Dude, I freaking... Feels so screwed over by my cards this game. Um, I'm definitely going to do it once at the very least. Um, I'll discard two material. Do I want to do it? Do I want to get rid of all my resources and move down twice? I kind of do. I just want to. Yeah, oh, we're just going to do it because I want to see. I want to see a second act. You know. So I'll move down twice be cool to see so yeah. we only get to uh and then ja uh, robert i will also return a favor to you uh and i i want to take your psionic thank you it's mine so we remind me again with the objective thing it has to get down to zero if we want to see it get to the second act yeah so if you get to the end of an act and you have not fulfilled your objective for for this plot line, then you will have to pivot to a different plot line in the second act. All right, well, let's roll a die. Do it. Does anybody want to do any other summit actions? Like there's like trading or swapping pieces or anything? I just lost all my resources, so there's pretty much nothing I can do. There's also and ships and ships and pieces and buildings that you can swap. Like, do you want something for for this building, perchance, Robert? Or are you content with just the, what you already have? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. We can like uh, we can swap pieces if there's something you'd be willing to give me. Uh, you to... I'm not giving you. I'm not giving you a trophy. Okay. Okay then. Yeah, uh, I mean, we don't have to do any other deals. I mean, I'll give you. I'll give you the relic in exchange if you want to go on ahead and secure something. Uh, like uh, Imperial Chaos, perchance? Maybe. Um, uh, what? What would you want to swap agents here to seed control? What do you mean secure something? Um, I... Oh, good. The swap agents? Yeah. I mean, I have. I could give you your psionic back. Yeah, that you went on ahead and just took from me. Yeah. Peace. Ah. I think. If you. You know what? Mm. Yeah, I think I'm content where I am. Okay, so no more deals then from anybody? I think so, yeah. All right, let us roll. Crises, crises, edict. Okay. All right, so we appoint the first regent, uh, which is me. So all the agents are returned then to the box. Why are you giving me this, Jack? Because I don't have anything to give you for your tax. Oh, Okay. So uh, you get another either. favor of mine. Okay. So then another favor. There you go. You. Uh, and then I will. I can govern. Do I want to change policy? No, nah, but I will build another imperial ship. Where, Jack? Where do you want the ship as recompense? Where would you? Where would you like? I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point, but I guess right here. Okay. All right. That's it for that round. Um, oh, this is poo poo. But, uh, <laughs> go 
on ahead, oppressive marketplace. I wish I could battle you so bad, Robert. I hate you so much. Do it. Do um, it. Go ahead. I won't. I dare you. I won't do it. I That's won't. what I thought. I will. Technically, Robert could battle you here, though. I could. Um, do I want to keep that? Yeah. Um, I will. I will play this card. I will declare keeper. Or empath, sorry, empath. Uh, and then I will move um, two ships, myself and an imperial ship. One, two, right here. That, just let me just make sure. Do I want, to, I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to have spent the psionic to, but, no, that's it, I'm good. Okay, your turn, Robert. Nice, yeah. That's rad. Uh, I'm gonna surpass. Okay. And I'm I'm assuming Jack's got. He's gonna keep me. Uh, in my prelude, though, I'm going to uh, discard gatekeepers. Mm. Do I just put that back in the campaign court? Uh, mm -hmm. I believe just set it in a discard pile here for now. I think. Okay. And. I will place a ship and every gate. Nice. Go for my two actions. Dude, honestly, people not being outlaws. I think I'm gonna go on ahead and secure Imperial Chaos. All right. So this, this agent there oh. goes on the first region. Place all uh, from here onto the first region card. Then resolve the edicts. Okay. Oh, so, so you uh, immediately come first region. Regent. My yeah. goodness. You know, for a founder mm. establishing a new world order, becoming a uh... so in collecting the Imperial demand. I think uh, either of y'all got got anything you can you can offer? No, here's a favor. <laughs> uh, man, well played. First Regent governs. Yeah, so you can either change the policy to peace or war, or uh, build a ship. You know, I I I think I think we're in a time of peace. Uh, I really fully no. believe that. Really, really, truly, I do. Uh, oh wait, this comes. You no, know, that's that's great. That's great. That's really great. <sighs> and so then, for my second action, I think I think I go on ahead and 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 battle this blight right here. And you get to collect two more or, dice. Oh no, because you got rid of gatekeepers. Or why well, actually? Hmm. Yeah, because you have to do two damage to kill it. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I think I'm. Battle or move or secure. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna move. I love how much I feel like we all want to fight each other, but we can't. Yeah, no. If Robert could just go ahead and switch sides. It would make it easier for everybody. Uh, oh, wait, I can do this thing where I drop people off, right? Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go on ahead and move. Oh, sorry. There you, yeah, you go on ahead. Man, I'm so happy that we're all on a, on a team together. We're just going to go travel around the world. Uh, you're gonna get dropped off here, and you guys are gonna get dropped off. Uh, the Imperial ships have to be paired with your ships. Yeah, I know. And then, yeah, that you know that guy, that Imperial ship gets dropped off there. Big fan of him. 
And this one, this little fella is just going to go right, right around there. Okay. Surpass. Good. Finally. Let's go, Jack. Okay. Um, for my two actions, I think I'm going to move that ship there. And that ship here. All right. Is that it? So yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, Jack, you get to lead. Mm -mm. What's to lead? Mm -hmm. Okay, to do that. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be necessary. Mm. I think, um... Yeah, I'm going to play construction. And I'm going to build three ships. Um, or I might build two ships in a city so I can actually hold stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to build another city right here. And build two ships. Right, yeah. Do you take cities as trophies in starports? Yeah. Or do those? Yeah, you do. Can okay. you build more than one ship per starport? No, you can only do it. Each uh, city can be taxed, and each starport can only be built at once per turn. Sorry. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a limit. You can't build two, two, uh, two ships on a single starport. There's a limit oh. to once per... It's the same thing with taxing. You can't tax one single city more than once per turn. Oh, I did not know that. Well, in that case, I'll build another Imperial ship at this foundry right here. Okay. Yeah. My turn. Mm -hmm. I will surpass... Uh, I can only do one thing, though. I can, I can build a building here, which I will do. Boop. I'm going to go get a drink. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I think I will play an event. Ugh. No. Why? No. No. No, Robert. That's fine. I guess. I think I will. I don't like Robert being... A, I don't like being not the first regent. If I'm in the Empire, I want to be the first regent. Being not the first regent is big poo-poo. Yeah, oh, really? I had no idea. I probably had all my resources stolen by you. <laughs> Multiple times. But no, and I... got scammed out of a victory because of that. But it's fine. Uh... I, I listen, Jack. I'll be honest. That that was a screw up. Like I just I forgot. Know, I forgot. To, I just forgot to spend it, the psionic. It, it felt like if you had reminded me like, on the like as soon as I started my turn, I would have spent it. Like genuinely, I I literally just forgot. And I, I mean, and I, and I feel just, bad. Like, I feel at bad. The time, I was like, 
Okay, this is like the one thing I can win this round. And then yeah. I was like, oh. I, I okay. feel, and I and feel all, bad about it. All my resources got taken away, and I was like, yeah. okay, I am free. I feel bad. I feel bad about that. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Uh, not about not about taking the resources, uh, about the forgetting yeah, his Because uh, that was our whole deal. Another event. Yeah. Okay, when the round ends after checking initiative, player with initiative may call a summit. Yeah. Is anybody looking to call? Yeah, I want to call summit. I want to call summit. Um, I guess I'm just, let me look around, see if there's anything. Is anybody, perchance, nobody's willing to swap buildings, are y'all? I just want a single starport. Uh, I just want a starport somewhere, I, you know? I, oh. Can oh, I, can I, can, can I, can I, wait, 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 can I swap, like, between my own pieces? Swap one little ship or one little building if a system has no loyal ships. Oh, so I could swap this for a starport if I wanted to. I believe, amongst myself. Wait, wait, no, no, no. It says swap one loyal ship or one loyal building if its system has no loyal ships. Yeah, so I could swap right? this building for a starport of my own because I don't have any loyal ships. Wait, is it the system or the... Yeah, and the system. Don't you have to take that with someone else? No, you can do it. It's just a summon action. I could just but swap... But you're swapping one... I would swap this... For a city. For a starport. But it's it's saying swap control, not what type of building it is. This is between two players, not uh, yeah, not yourself. Not yourself. That doesn't make any sense. How would uh -huh. you negotiate with yourself to rebuild your own city? I like Ethan. I could I could negotiate with you to swap out my city for a starport for you, but that wouldn't work because I have ships in there. <laughs> Like, if you I, wanted to swap, you and Robert could negotiate that, like, turning your white city into a yellow yellow city for him or something, but... I guess that's not how I read the way the summit actions work, because the way it says is to take a summit action, you need the consent of the player it affects. So if I am just taking a summit action by swapping my own pieces, I am already have I already have my own consent to swap those pieces. But, in that same vein, that doesn't make any sense. How would, why would you have to call a summit to change your own city into a starport? Because I'm communicating. And also, like maybe. when it says swap one loyal agent in the court, according to the way you're reading the rules, you could just take as many summit actions as you want to move your pieces to wherever you want to move them. If you're reading it the way you're reading it. If I'm because trading if with other swap people. If I own loyal pieces, then I can swap them to whichever ones I want them to be on. I think I, I think that's what you can do because it just says you can take the actions, right? And you just need to get into the player effects. So if you can do it with yourself. Unless... I mean. Player called the summit may return a favor. I don't really remember it. And there's a limitation with the buildings because I can only I could only swap this one because I don't have any loyal ships here. Like I can't just swap my buildings around as much as I want. Like in this specific instance, I feel like I can swap this for a starport if I wanted to. At this, I mean, I guess I can not do it, but I'm just I'm saying I feel like I feel like you can do that. I feel like that that makes no sense. <laughs> It, I, I feel it doesn't like... make sense for me flavor wise, but in the way of reading it, it I see what I'm saying. I I see what you're saying. I mean, I could just not do it. It's fine, and we can like, I guess we could ask. I think, the, I think the term "swap" to me seems to always apply to two players. Is well, when I read, yeah. if you read, if you read the, uh, let me look it up. Uh, on well, the, the the action is called seed control. So hold on mm -hmm. on the uh, on so the swap here. on the swap glossary in the base rulebook it says remove a piece and put another piece in its place. That's what swap means. So Ethan, uh, at this point, I, a, I don't even want to do it anymore anyway. So it's fine. I have a, but I, I mean, Ethan, I I do have a proposition for you. Oh, what's your proposition? Uh, that if you and I swap this ship right here in the psionic system with one of my ships over here mm -hmm. you know uh right, you know it won't be me just sitting there standing over your starport mm -hmm. you know just 
I mean, I don't I know. Think. To be honest, I don't know how All important your... it is for me to have a ship right here. I just want a, a starport, and this is the only building I could swap with with myself. Um, then, then, what if we swapped? Like, I'm willing to to swap to do something to swap ships here if for something from you. Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna? You wanna swap ships? This one and this one. Sure. So we swap ships here, and then I take this gate. I can do that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Go on ahead and take the gate. Yeah. So by the way, that's technically two swap actions. Just so we're clear, based on the terminology a little bit, we're swapping a piece. I'm taking a white piece off here, and he's putting a yellow piece on, and then we're doing a second swap seed control action here. Is what's happening. That's not that. What we just did is not one swap action. Does that make sense, Jack? The way the, the term is written in the rulebook. I mean, I, I agree with that. That that's a single action, but no, these are two. These are two. Know. These Maybe were two different. Just... These were two different actions. Is what I'm saying. Swapping here I and mean, swapping yeah, here. That's... I don't even want to oh, swap this city for so stuff. These, these two. These two are not replacing each other. I, yes. I, What's happening in, here in the big picture of things is that mine is here. Yeah. I'm swapping this yellow bit for yeah. one of his in the glossary things. swap says it's you're just taking a piece off and putting another piece on so we're taking out taking the summit action to take this off and put one of your pieces on and then right. second action is i'm taking your piece off and putting this here right that's yeah. two different actions i mean i don't disagree with that yeah. i just disagree with the idea of targeting yourself for those actions because then i feel like if that's the case then you can do a lot of really messed yeah, up stuff like that does you could you could just put all of your agents on one card nobody wants and so nobody thinks you're contesting it and then take a summit action and be like oh all five of my agents actually they're on the first region now or they're uh popular like you could just move your agents no that's because that's not how swap want. works if you have five agents here a swap action would be you taking off your blue agents here and putting something else on this card that's what i'm talking about about how how, how swapping works it's not it's not um it's not so, like so ethan i think in order for it to work how you'd want it to yeah like if you would swap with me uh this white city i think again and then oh but it, it wouldn't work because what, i have those two ships what there. we're getting but confused like, on if, is the term swap because we're thinking oh swap is i trade this building with this building that's one swap action swap is no, oh i take this building off you can put a building on from your right, thing. Right. But what says that you can put a starport instead of a city there? Because I you can I can take this building off and put a different building on, right? Which I can only do, you can only swap buildings if you have no loyal ships in this system. So I'm saying, oh, I'm taking like deconstructing the city and building a starport in its place. And because it's just affecting me, I can just do it. But it's in the, it's this little edge case where I could do it here. I can't just like now be swapping all these buildings everywhere because I have little ships here and here. I can do I this guess, one action specifically uh, here in this one instance. Is I what really I was saying. I guess to me the thing is if I see your side of the argument, which I get, I get what you're saying that it's all one action. It's replacing one piece. Mm -hmm. It's not saying replace your piece with a different piece. Right? It's not saying like like you can't replace this ship with anything besides another person's ship. Yeah, but right, so. You couldn't replace this city with anything except another city, which mm -hmm. doesn't do anything. Well, uh, it's just a bu another building. I'm I'm pretty sure, right? Remove a piece, put another piece in its place. I'm just removing a building and putting another building here. I mean, I don't even want to do it right here anymore at this point anyway. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this edge case will come up, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay. I mean, we can just... I mean I, if that's how it works, that's fine. It seems yeah. really weird to me. If it's, that's we'll, the case, we'll leave it up to us. I don't think yeah, it's it creating would... the weird systems that you think it will. Like for instance, like if in your that example, if Robert had three things here, he can't say, "Oh, I'm swapping and putting all of these on the first region," because that's not. Yeah, I guess that works. now, yeah. now that I understand the action better, but yeah. I think it, it does create a weird situation where you can always come back from being blockaded. So like if. If you can just always swap out your cities for starports, mm -hmm. then you can just be like, oh, guess what? There's a starport now. Boom. Construction three. Now I have three ships there. Yeah. So it, it seems well, a little... One, you can't do I that because know, each starport can only be built at once per turn. But No, but I, I see Jack's point because yeah. then... You can just come back. Mm-hmm. 
kind of out of nowhere. But I mean, it's not a yeah. huge deal. Like you said, you're not wanting to do it, but yeah. I, I think it's an interesting thing to consider. We should probably look into that more. Yeah. But, Father Cole, if you're okay. watching. Ooh, let's go yeah. rules lawyering. I'm so excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, what were we doing? Here? It was it was a summit. So now we're rolling okay. the event die. Unless there are there any oh, more deals? Uh, uh, um, oh, do, did I want to use my favor? Oh, I could I use think... my favor. Um, hey, Robert, I'm going to use my favor yeah. and force you to give me one of your trophies. Thank you. Yeah, typical. Typical. You sanctimonious. Robert, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to become I an think... outlaw. I'm going to become an outlaw. Oh, you're going to you're going to finally switch? Yeah. <laughs> Tricky if you guys. become the outlaw, it skips the other parts of the Regency, FYI, just before you do that, so you won't get to collect tax. So oh, true. Hold on a minute. Or change. Also, the you would become a you would become a regent. No, that's if that's. Uh, so see, you're still I, the if, first if regent. I, yeah. I'm still the first regent, but then after this, you would appoint the new first regent, which mm -hmm. at this point there is no one there. So. If the outlaw wins, they may become a regent, but the current first regent holds well, the title. We don't even know skip if this, this skip is this if an outlaw won first regent. This is for particularly if the edicts are triggered, but we're not even. We might just have a a, a crisis. That's true. It could be a crisis. Yeah, so, so I'm 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 gonna be an outlaw. All, all right, outlaw, outlaw That's time. What I was gonna propose, but all right. Wait, more deals? More deals? Is that what we're saying? No, it's it's all good. That yeah. works out better for me anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. So. Here we go. What do we got? Another edict. All right. So, so nothing happens. So you, the outlaw, you become. If he's an outlaw, See, oh, you just you just you just maintain the first region. Okay. Yeah, I he maintains it, but nothing region. else happens. Nothing else so happens because you're an outlaw. A region. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, okay. That's better for me in the long run. So there's no there's no there's no taxing or changing. Yeah. Okay. He was gonna take another favor from you, which I was okay. like, dang it. Okay. Who? It's... Was I the one who's passed with the six construction? Yes. Okay, so I have the initiative. <laughs> okay. What was I doing? Oh, yes. Playing this card. Oh, I will Lord. tax a psionic, and I will tax a fuel. Okay. Or do I want to influence the first region? No, no, it's fine. Okay, that's it for me, Robert. Uh, I think I am going to... This already feels so different from base arcs. This, yeah, so I think different. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy. Like it almost feels like a completely different game. Mm-hmm. And it's taken me a little to adjust to, truthfully. Mm -hmm. I can tax a neutral city, right? Yeah. If you're the outlaw, no, because no. Imperial Presence rules it. Yeah, that's true. To tax a loyal city blockaded by the Empire, you must give a loyal agent to the first region. Yeah. As a cat. All right, uh, I'm gonna tax. What's this store you in control? Oh yeah. Psionic. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Jack. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna pivot and build. Um, I'm gonna build another ship right here. Nice. You about to make a trip out to the next foundry? Possibly. Do you... Well, he will be stopped. Oh, you have this one right here. Do you? Ha oh, do you have to have a blue piece here to do the thing? Uh, it has to be restored. Okay. So, yeah, or, but, but so with the starship action. Could we talked about this last game, Ethan? Yeah. How does the like movement work with it? With it's. Like the... The starport so, catapult? Yes. Like, if you hit another piece, you have to stop there? An enemy piece. 
enemy piece. Yeah, so. you can keep in moving that, and dropping as much you want until you hit, uh, yeah, an enemy, a non. In that piece. case, if it's all right. So you I'd could like you could move these guys build. up along this way, up until you yeah. hit one of these spots. But with Jack, yeah. is, uh, Robert is an outlaw. You would have to stop right here in this gate yeah. if you move through the gate. I would just like to build here instead of down there. This is a, a city. Use, it's not a starport. I can though. use I can use foundries as starships. Oh, okay. Restore starports. Words. You may nice. build loyal ships at restored foundries. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I played mobilization and I influenced the first region box three times. Okay. <laughs> Robert. All right. I want it back. Um, Give it to me. You want it back? I want, want it... first region no, back. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> All right, so I, I only get to do one of those, right? Because yes. Because surpassed. Correct, yeah. You're, you're basically copying. Yeah, yeah. I do almost wish, well, I guess that would mess up the balance a lot, but... Of what? What do you wish? If you had the same card but lower, if it would make let you take like two actions or something, you know? Yeah. But I get it. I guess I'll mess with the balance. So I'm gonna first use a psionic. Resources definitely help curve bounce if you can get them. To, but I can, but uh... uh. Place an agent influence on populist demands. Okay. And I will then also use my relic to secure populist demands. Okay. Where I can declare any ambition. Jack, you should look at this lore card for yourself. Dang, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really freaking good, bro. <laughs> what ambition? So you can uh, declare any ambition, right, Robert? I yeah, I can declare any ambition, and I will declare keeper. Hardly know her. And when Same. I declare an ambition as an outlaw, I move down one. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Now you're at nine. Mm -hmm. So then for the other action, I will move Oh, and when I declare an ambition, you may place one ship in a system with loyal ships. Nice. See, Robert, if you've just been an outlaw this whole time, you could be doing all this crazy stuff. You didn't have to <laughs> mess with me all over here. Yeah, I had man. a plan. Come on, bro. <laughs> You did. I'm sure you did. I not only moved in here, cleared out the blight, but then Jack moved the Imperial fleet away and then let Robert come in and beat me up. I didn't okay. beat you up. Uh, no, no, sorry, not beat uh, me up. You 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 took the stuff that I wanted. <laughs> but I guess I can't complain. Alright. Um Alrighty. So the other I will I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. Yeah, he's still in his prelude. Dad, go. <laughs> I was like, that's like four actions. That's oh, what. Man, that's what. That's dude. what. Resources that's cool. and prelude actions can. They can get you do a bunch of stuff on a non mm -hmm. non lead turn. I'll move these Repair two. Build. Holy crap, dude! What? I just no. I just realized uh, that. Okay, that's a actually, super busted interaction I'll that I can do now. This guy. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll move this guy. Where was here. he? Oh, from here? Okay. Yeah. All right, so now, Jack, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to surpass. Ah, you um, had the six however, aggression. as a prelude action, I'm going to discard mining interest mm -hmm. to fill my row with materials. So that's four materials. Nice. And then each one of those, I guess... I don't know. Maybe I should do this before putting the card down, but um, I can use each of these to take a repair or build action. I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I'm going to spend one to take a build action here. I'm going to spend another to Can take you build this one here a... if this one's a buried foundry? Oh shoot! Is it buried? My it bad. Buried. That's incorrect. I'm gonna take another build action here. Okay. So that's two build actions there. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh okay. Oh never mind. He controls that, so I can't do that. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Move out. Building where else? Really? 
Okay, so now that I've surpassed, I'm going to um, move one, two, three, uh, four ships there. Nice. One move action. And then for my second move action, where should I just yeet all of these bad boys? No, because, well, I mean, there's no... Nobody gains anything by taking over that neutral area. I'm going to put all five of these in here. Um, and... Oh. What's up? Sorry, I was just I was just trying to move the group the Not these bad. types together, and I accidentally hit the building. <laughs> and then I'm going to move this other Imperial ship into the gate. Fun. And I have the initiative. Indeed you do, sir. All right, and you lead... All right, here we go, baby. Yes. Two aggression. Finally, my plans have come to fruition. All right, we're gonna take a battle action here. Okay. Um, it's gonna be. Is this one... your first battle, Jack? Finally. Yes, finally. <laughs> Three. So got, oh, I wish I had that intercept card right now. And two blue. By the way, Jack. Um, real mm -hmm. quick. Um, about the intercept symbol. Uh, we were kind of doing it wrong when we played. If you oh, roll okay. any number of intercepts, all right. So the number of intercept symbols don't matter. That's a little bullseye symbol around the the battle the yeah. damage there. Uh, you immediately take damage uh, equal to the number of fresh enemy ships. So what? If you roll any number of intercepts at this moment in time, you would take four damage straight up. Just so you know. That's retarded. All right, getting rid so of all that. So that yeah, intercept uh, intercept is way bigger than we were playing I, in our first yeah, game. Yeah, golly. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and then I'm gonna do two oranges, like, yeah, or no, they still have intercepts yeah, they too. Do intercept. oh. Yeah, but it'll let you raid. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, intercept is. That is so strong. I mean, you could okay. thin it. It's only for fresh ships, so you could damage them with blue, like thin it out, and then go that's for the true. big road. It's just. Yeah, you... that's still so strong. I did not realize that, but. Um, yeah. Now I'm like, I guess it's a one in six chance. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, you have three attack actions, so you could thin out and then do and then follow up with a with yeah. a bigger. I'm gonna take one red, which is it's a risk. Almost certainly gonna roll an intercept symbol <laughs> now, but um, that's just the kind of life I live, dude. It's always All fun right. in games until you actually roll what you don't want to roll. I know, right? Nice. Okay, five nice. hits. Oh, he... So one da one damage to yourself, and then five hits. Yeah. One damage to my sit myself, and then I allocate hits. So um, I'm gonna destroy two ships and and damage one. Nice. Um, okay, I'm gonna fight again, this time with two reds, I think. Yeah. Alright, so this is your second action? Yeah, second action. Nice, so dude. Hits. Your luck with the blues is good. Jack is... Jack's, Jack's one, two, best, one, two, three, but... four, five. So what is that? Yeah. Three... So two two damage is left that have to go to the buildings, I believe. Do they have to? Or, uh... I, thought it, I thought you had to roll the loot dice is what we found out last yes, time. Yes, but uh, if you... I also read that if you have leftover damage... Wait, this is a campaign. Yeah, if you have leftover damage, it goes to... It might go to buildings. I don't know if it's a if, if it's an option. Let me check. Okay. Um, do -do -do, becomes damaged... Uh, da, da, da. Once no defending ships remain, hit any of their defending buildings instead. So yes, you have oh, okay. to. So you can damage. So the I'll buildings. destroy a star port starport. Then. Okay. Take nice. that as a trophy. Finally, some action, um, some yeah, battle, know, dude. I've been itching this whole time. <laughs> oh, I, to do it. I picked an aggro character. My whole point was to like fight, and I haven't gotten to fight anyone. Well, well, yeah, we were waiting for you were waiting for somebody to become an outlaw. I know. I, I the one thing I was waiting for. Um. Okay. What do I want to do now? Though? Do I want to move back or press the advantage? Press the press. Advantage. Press the advantage. Press it. Press it. I feel like that leaves me a little too exposed. Though. Exposed. Do I it. Think I have five trips. I'm trying to think feasibly if either of y'all could come back and take away the lead on Warlord from me. Yeah, five. Ooh. I mean, I'll probably attack this one piece. Robert, I mean, he can he could attack here. He could get two he more. Could get, yeah, he could get a couple maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I have no way of getting there anyway. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is. My last battle, I'm just gonna fight right here. Nice. So I'll just attack this one ship, um, and I'll roll a red and a blue. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Nice. Okay, it's destroyed. 
and Jack's I take Jack's luck with dice is insane. That was good luck. That was good luck. I'll tell you what's funny is I am normally so unlucky with yes. dice rolls. That's so true. I don't know what's happening, but I ain't going to question it. So, all right. Enjoy it while it lasts. I know. All right, is that it for you? How dare you betray the Empire? I will pivot. I was... I, Jack, based on your the way you were talking, I... It sounded like you had an aggression, so I was really hoping you did because I really needed to. <laughs> I really needed to battle this. Let's do it. Oh, four damage straight up. If that was a fresh blight, would have killed it outright. Boom. If I like, I was um, four damage. Oh, dad gum, dude. That was a really on, good one. On, on two red. On two yeah. red. All right, dad Robert. Gum. Robert, what do you got? Uh, I think it'd be dumb of me not to. Bro, there's some construction going on outside my place right now, and it's like literally right next to the building. It's so loud. <laughs> beep, beep. I mean, I think I think I have to. Yeah. Copy and then attack down here. Here. Mm. Yeah. Oh. What's life without a little risk? Mm-hmm. Uh, safe. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Oh. Where were you okay. attacking? Right uh, here. So here. he takes two and deals two. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and take a. How dare you destroy a beautiful, glorious vessel of the Empire? <laughs> that is exactly how I picture this guy sounding oh, right yeah, here. Me too. Holy crap! Is dude, that it? I is that it? Hold it off. I, th I was thinking about that plan, like, around the, whole the second or third hand. I, I mean, I, I have no help for the next couple. All right, so let's see how this shakes out. So, uh, firstly, Warlord. Jack wins Warlord for five points. Five points. So it gets you up to seven, right? Yeah, I'll then, go ahead. These go back to Robert. Yeah, I'm at second for three. One, two, three. All right, that's Warlord. Uh, then uh, Empath, I have two Psionic. Does anybody else have any Psionic? I don't think no. so. Okay, so That's I get you four. Think. I'll put that right um, there. We clear the trophies box, right? Yeah, clear the trophies box. Okay. And then Keeper, who, does anybody have any Relic at all? I don't think nope. anyone. Okay. No. Where do we put a uh, Blight? I just throw it in this, ba this green bag up here. All right, so at end of hand, uh, X Imperial ships on the map. Yeah, how much do you drop down, uh, Jack? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think. Eleven? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good for you. Yeah. Yeah, eleven. Yeah, considering that I start at twenty. Wait a minute. That's wrong. I'm blue, Ethan. Yeah. Did I did I move something down when oh, I was supposed oh, to? Oh, 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 I didn't know if you'd moved it yet. I was... No, I didn't touch it. Okay, so I'm at... I wanted. I was letting you do the math. I didn't okay. know what. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Wait a minute! I think you smoothed the wrong piece." Down four. Right. Oh, okay. I literally need to restore Excellent. one foundry. All right, and we are going into the final hand. Final hand for boys. the first act. So I go f draw first. Yep. It's nice to have the initiative. So you were a, you were a slow burn, Jack. That's all you were. You were just a slow burn. You were just waiting. Took a little while. It seems like call it a comeback. Based on how how, how explosive that could be, as like the admiral is like really good, but like we maybe need to police the admiral. Maybe, but it's also the first act. It I seems don't care. almost I... like he needs to, like the best way to play against him is to starve him out. Like if yeah. nobody's an outlaw and there's no opportunity to attack anybody. I don't know how he's supposed to do what he can do because he yeah. doesn't have any way to gain resources better. He can't negotiate better. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's literally like, hey, you have more ships than anyone in the game. Hopefully, you can kill someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you could go for blight. Um, That's one thing you could go for. You, yeah, you could, but you need a lot of movement. Is the only problem with That's that true. is like you got to move all across the board. Yeah. All right. Final. Sir. Final hand. What have you got, Jack? Hmm. I almost want to just rinse and repeat. Yes. Do it. 
How does that as a repair action in any system? That's pretty freaking good, actually. So if you move, is it like the Eclipse pinning rule? Or is it if there's any enemy ships, you just no, can't move? No, there's no pinning or anything like that anymore. Like, okay, but if, if there's any enemy ships, you just can't move anymore. Correct, yeah, you have to stop. Okay, gotcha. And obviously, if you have multiple move that's actions, then you can move from, from there. Starport. Yeah, and that's only if you're coming that's from a starport. Yeah, regular move is just yeah. from one to one anywhere. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, so like the root control rules that was in the original, the Kickstarter version, that's gone. Um, the pinning, there's no pinning or anything, so. Okay. It's a, um, it's a lot I more think I'm going to play this mobilization and declare um, Tyrant or Warlord again. Let's go. Well, now it's on. <laughs> yeah, no, now I really gotta. Now you really, you down. gotta double, you gotta. Oh, I guess I can't attack you. I have to attack Robert. That is correct, and, sir. Um, I'm gonna return both these Imperial ships to here for one move. Mm -hmm. And then. Guys, we, I have to also say we've gotten lucky that we haven't rolled a single crisis. So we haven't had to worry about mm -hmm. blight damage or anything. I think these are going to move here. Fun. That's my second move. And then I am going to influence once right here. Yeah, that's a good one for you. I also I mm -hmm. almost want to counter influence you on that one. Okay, I will surpass mm. you. Fair enough. Fair There's enough. A five, and I want to move. Let's think about this. I almost considered not declaring the ambition and maybe keeping the lead, but I was like, nah, they're gonna have a higher than a four. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to. Um, I'm going to spend a fuel to do an extra move. I will move this ship here. Okay, so now I'm doing the two actions. I'll move one, and then two. I'll move here mm, with... Interesting. I'll bring... No! I'll bring, do I want to bring both in? I was gonna repair those. Remember, but... you can, you guys can fight each other as long as there's no Imperial ships. Yeah, I'm yeah, keeping the Imperial my, the ships. The problem is the Imperial ships are the backbone of my fighting force. So that's it. That's my. Two hey, Ethan, I was gonna repair One, both of those next round. I can also, I can also repair them, Jack. Like we're still on the same I mean... team. I can. No, no. I like if they're at a foundry, I can repair both ships with one action. Yeah. That's all. I see what I you're saying. That, yeah. Yeah. So, but it's okay. All right, Robert. I don't know, Jack. You're getting kind. Of, you're getting kind of ahead over here. I don't know if you see this. Um, Shut the frick <laughs> up, Ethan. You're like twelve points ahead. I'm gonna. Actually, you're literally. You have double the amount of points. That you... <laughs> oh. That's fun. Uh. So you get to take three actions. Yeah. And then you know what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna move into war since Jack. The Admiral is chomping at the bit. I'm willing to satiate the thirst and move move into an Imperial yeah, war policy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you are. <laughs> it's not a good test. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna you're just gonna keep the first region, Robert. That's so lame, bro. Come on, give it to me, please, please, please. Uh, honestly, I fully support this decision. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good move. It's a good move. Um, I will call a summit. I will call okay. a summit. So, Smart. Um, Smart. oh, oh! I already gave up Robert's favor. I would love to force him to swap an agent in the first region box. That would be great. I could also just make myself a regent. That's true. He could become unoutlawed. Yeah, you could just make yourself an imperial player. Uh, what should I do with Jack's favor? What? What should I? I feel like I should do something with it. I guess you could take one hey, of uh, I don't know, Jack, do you want a psionic? It could help later in the game, maybe. I'll take a material if you get, if, or if I'll take one of I your materials. You gonna use, I thought you were going to use my No, 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 no. Like, um, either, like, I can give you a psionic for a material. Hey, Ethan. Yeah. What? That's fine. Okay. You know this first regent thing over here? Yeah, what's up? Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's looking a little full. You know, we're gonna have to score the first region. Or we're gonna appoint the first region. That's true. I know you want it real bad. I, right? I mean, yeah, it sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've actually okay. Yeah, what's up? How about you can we we can swap mm -hmm. an agent 
you know, you can you can take it. Yeah. You have to give me a favor. A favor. Man, what do you want with that one favor? Oh wait, how many do you have? You have one of my favors already. To be honest, um, the reason I, I wanted it is because I didn't want to pay a tax because I wanted to be able to have the option to pay three resources to complete my objective, but I've already completed my objective. So I'm wondering if I actually even need to be part of the Empire anymore at this point. Well, no, no, no. I, I do kind of want it. I just don't know if I want to pay the tax. Leaving the Empire. I, to be honest, uh, so honestly, I'm I actually don't really need it anymore. I'm cool paying tax even to help you guys out since y'all are a little down on the okay. points, you know? Fair, fair. All right, so then in that case... I'm cool with you keeping it. I am going to cash in uh, your favor, Jack. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're going to feed and roll. Now, can we do that with Imperial ships? No, you can't you? replace Imperial ships, I don't think. Because I, I, I don't control them. Yeah, I don't believe I so. I just treat them as my ships for movement and presence. Yeah. Yeah, so a loyal ship is specifically your own pieces. So yeah. okay, um, then uh, <sighs> also you're not law anyway. So at the moment, mm. yeah. So I mean, you could take my psionic, I guess. <laughs> I could. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, it's pretty useful. I never seem to take the psionic. Gonna, I think we're actually going to swap agents. Psionic is actually super useful. That's a really good one, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice. I'm do that, and then I think Ethan, you're gonna give me your psionic. Oh, okay. Here you go. Oh, I'm going for empath. Okay. Uh, and then I think I honestly, I'm... at this point, for the sake of table politics, don't mind if I t sit back a little bit this round and let y'all kind of catch up. Like I feel like that's kind of fair, you know, going into the second act. For us also, to be... considering. The fact that if we both turn on you, it could be devastating. <laughs> it could be so bad. <laughs> you could literally lose everything so quick. I know. That's why when you were like, I might stop, I might become an outlaw, I'm like, uh oh, Yeah, well, okay. I looked at it, I went, and I went, because I haven't built a starport, I have really been riding on the fact that I could use Imperial ships for my pieces. I, I was sitting here, I was like, oh, 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 yeah, oh so, yes. no, no, I don't really okay. want to be an outlaw. And I know, I know y'all really want to battle. But I just don't think that that's, I just don't think that that's practical. War, war, war. Oh, oh no, frick. no, I'm I'm a regent again. Yeah. I moved wrong. No, oh dang it! I was gonna move there. That's what I should have done. I cannot oh, believe well. you all would turn on. Are your there any other deals that's going to be happening? By the way. Mm -hmm. Nope. I don't think so. No. Okay, so we will end the summit phase. We'll go to the event phase. What do we got? Ugh, another edict. All right. So, firstly, Robert, first regent. you get to be first regent. I, I will. I will keep that title. <laughs> I'm kind of. A, I mean, it was a great move, Robert, Thank but so I'm upset. Much. I felt so in control, and you did that, and I was like, "Dang it!" All right. Uh, and so now that I'm not an outlaw. Yeah. You go down the list. Oh, uh, he, you have to I'll give him a sign. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, then, good move, Ethan. Yeah, you know what's really tragic is oh, that have you don't you, have any of those. I have to give you another favor. <laughs> he said what's yeah. really yeah. tragic. So it that, was a good move. a good move. There is political uh, maneuvering happening here. So the, the politics, they may are take one of these actions. Requisition ships. Basically, you can't requisition ships because we're in a time of peace. So you could change oh, no, the policy if you want. Yeah. I could change the policy. Uh, I don't think I will. Okay. Mm, All right. Enough. And that is it for that round. Mm. I have initiative mm. this round. I'm feeling good. Now that I've completed my objective, I'm feeling like I really should just sit back and kind of let you guys catch up to me. Otherwise, I feel like y'all will turn on me so hard if I do anything. Because um, the problem is now if you take an even further lead, then... Then y'all like will absolutely... Kind of like, the second yeah, act, yeah. the second game would be absolutely miserable for me in that case. Yeah. Um, that's fine. But I don't want y'all to get too ahead, you know what I mean? Well, um, consider it... The only ambition declared is Warlord for six points. Yeah. Somebody would have to win two ambitions to surpass you at least. I would have to win two ambitions to surpass you. Yeah, I'm just looking. I can to I can only declare certain ambitions. That's the that's the unfortunate thing. Mm. Uh do you guys want battle cards? Jack, do you want aggression out onto the table? Uh actually aggression would be very helpful to me. 
I'll well, take aggression. All right. Uh, six. Oh, okay. <laughs> zero. You declare the ambition. I was like, well, if it's yeah. a six, that's not really helpful. There you but... go. Yeah, I'm doing it. But I'm also giving Robert his psionic scoring to let him that's catch fair. up. Fair. Uh, all okay. right. I appreciate it. Yeah. I actually moved down here so I could tax your stuff. But now that I've moved to a peaceful policy, I'll go ahead and secure this Sworn Guardians card. Um, put out another Lord. Oh, oh Ancient Holdings is so good. I love this card. The raid cost of this resource is four keys. Oh, that's neat. Because, yeah, you can hold an additional yeah. resource, which is fun. Dude, that repair drone is so good. I want it so badly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do I want to battle anywhere else? I don't think so. I'm good. Your turn, Robert. Uh, I'll I'll surpass. For now. For now. For now. Robert might or Jack might surpass surpass. Yeah, I'm gonna go on ahead and secure the repair drones. Unfound you, you filthy once outlaw. The repair drones are great. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> Free a what city. A turn to have warlord declared, dude. Free. <laughs> that could be so bad. Oh man. Uh, okay. I think I think for my my second action, I'm just gonna go on ahead and attack this blight right here. Okay. You know. Also, you gotta roll that red die. Roll that red boy. Well, it's already wounded. Yeah, but you still but need to deal two, two damage. Hits to damage. You need to get or kill. Yeah. Because it is toughened. It's a tough boy. I know they're still tightening up things that, like, I hope look maybe Wait, a little hold on. better. I can repair with this, can't I? Uh, no, battle, no, battle, no, move, battle secure. mover secure. I kind of, I kind of don't love the look of the blight tokens. I hope they're a little different. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the color yeah, uh, or they're a little odd. They don't stand out to me. Nice. Like that. That's exactly what you needed. Ooh, that Brick, Robert. And you can repair it with oh. repair drones. Yeah, I do. That's good. good. That's good. Okay. All right, my turn. Um, I am going to surpass. So I'll about to take on that, sir. Dang, I was kind of hoping Robert wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move. Three ships. And I'm going to ski diddle over her. Nice. Um, from, and oh then, yeah, from to this gate too. Well, you have to stop when you hit this gate, Jack. No, he's not an enemy anymore. Oh, you're right. He's an imperial. Yeah, he's an, he's an imperial. He's a friendly for now. Um, and then I'm gonna roll. Dang, I feel like I also should roll a red because I could roll three blanks with the blues. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a red and two blues. There. Oh, it'd be nice if I could do all the dice. Oh, wow, yeah, glad I did. Okay, so I destroy that, take that trophy, and then damage one ship. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, so that's it then, because I can only take two actions. Mm -hmm. Ah, but I still have the lead. Are you about to go on a rampage this hand? I actually, I'm kind of in a curious position. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Um, I feel like that's my best option. So I kind of need to reposition some of this stuff. Sorry. <laughs> the prelude has to be after playing an action card probably before spending pips. That's what it is. Okay, I think my best option here is to actually do a two mobilization. Fun. And I'm going to move one ship here. These two ships are going to move to uh, yeah. So that's two pips. Um, I think I'm going to move 
I'm gonna move these three ships to here. Fun. So three actions, and then is there anything I? I like how the ships. imperial ships are like thicker than our ships. Mm hmm They're like slightly They're bigger. Slightly bigger. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I do like the ancient holding stuff. Silver tongues. Okay, I'm gonna influence this for one. What happens if it's not the crisis? Choose player to resolve the crisis effect. Oh, that's fun. What does free a loyal city mean? Like, from their trophies? Did I get first, by the way, in Empath last round? Uh, no, you, you and I tied, no, remember? You guys tied. We tied with Empath? The... Yes. I thought I had two I... Psionic last round. No, he had, yeah, he had two Psionic, and neither of us had any. We tied what? with... Psionic. About... Yeah. Because we both had one, I thought. Last round, I had two. Oh, spent... no, y'all had two because I stole both of yours. Yeah. D didn't I score? Yeah, that was this no, round. No, no, you, you, I no, had you both had one. You both had one. because We I... both had okay. one, yeah, because we tied. That's I didn't, I did I get first in it? I can't remember if I got first in anything last, night, last you round. You got first? Yeah, you got first in... um. What was it? Oh, I'm thinking of the first round. Uh, I don't know what you got first in last round. I'm just remembering because I had an uncovered city with plus two points. I can't remember if I'm supposed to be at 16 instead. Actually, I'm going to influence that one, Silver Tongues. Um, I think before I say I'm good... Yeah, that's all for now. So. I got second in Warlord, but I thought I had gotten first in Empath. Maybe I'm just wrong and misremembering. I thought, no, because we had Keeper, Warlord, and... Were there only Empath. two? Yeah, because the keep was out. It was yeah, it was these these three. Keeper, keeper, uh, keeper didn't get scored. Yeah, it was the only two. Was... I remember scoring empath though, Ethan, because keeper was the last one we did. I can just review it and adjust points in the next game if I need to. That's fine. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. All right, Ethan. I'll surpass. Surprise! Surprise! Uh, don't want to move anywhere. Well, hey, bud. What's going on? No, I think I'm just going to... Oh, actually, do I want... I think I'll influence... I'm going to influence this card twice. Okay, that's I it for me. To be, uh, I ain't trying to be that guy, but my dog's literally so cute. <laughs> it's like, you know, the best dog ever. Uh, we've been, like, working... I've been working really hard to train him recently. Because he kind of got into a fight with another dog. Oh, really? By the way, Robert, your yeah. turn. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Robert. So I have a, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Mm -hmm. uh, can I still seize initiative? Yes. Yeah. But don't. Uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Please. But don't. It just is discarding a second card, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, even if somebody yeah, has surpassed, yeah. you can seize. Yeah, that really sucks. You're gonna play an event and then seize. Seize the initiative. Nice. Okay. Uh, so. so I will. I get to take four of those actions. Yep. Mm -hmm. All four. Dang. I literally, I'm not gonna lie to you, Robert. I was thinking about surpassing or pivoting. I was like, no, but I could surpass and then like just take more actions of the card I wanted to pivot to. And I was like, and the only the only thing that would change this plan from happening is if Robert seized. But nobody seized this whole game, so it won't happen. So I'm gonna. Move. So naturally, to, you seized. I don't have to move a, a healthy a, a healthy ship with an imperial ship, do I? No. Mm, I don't think so. No. All right. So you fellas are going. Yeah, you go on ahead over there. I forgot uh, that Robert's part of the Empire one. again. No. It's uh, disgusting. Back in my day when you were out, you were... <laughs> and then... Are you going to complete your objective if you repair one more foundry? Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm at three, so I, I literally just need that last foundry. But you know what would be really funny is if you didn't. <laughs> uh, uh. 
That's true. I guess depending on what you lead, I might not have the ability to build or repair. Yeah. Um. So that was that was one. I feel like so torn, dude, because on one hand, I just want to, like, focus on unlocking my stage two, but I know I also need to be getting points. <laughs> like, you yeah. still have to get power, you know, but I kind of just want to focus on my stage two. Well, yeah, that's a, it's hard because, like, that's the big yeah. flashy thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is how you'll win the, the campaign in the end. Yeah, in the end. So I think I just... Influence three. I got gum, son. Robert, can you take a chill pill, my guy? That's the second time you've done this. <laughs> like everything Stop doing that, bro. Do. Robert's like, what if I did that instead? <laughs> I mean, I can't complain since I'm in first, so I really don't have grounds to stand yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> by quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, in fact, I might even be like... two points more ahead if I got first on something. I can't. I just can't remember. Mm -hmm. I think that's. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Okay. So now we go to the event. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so did you, you did you want to call a summit, Robert? You got um, a favor from me I, at least. I know. I know. I'm tired I, of summits. I think I will. I will be so gracious. Oh my mm. goodness. I think I will be so gracious. Does that mean summit or no summit? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't need summit anymore. I don't think I need I'm a swap. Tired of I don't even. I don't think there are any actions that'll improve my position. No. I think I, w I, I w We will have a summit. Okay. I'm so excited to have a summit, guys. Okay. I'm so excited. Um, so I have a f favor with Ethan. Oh, only the player who called the summit may return favors. That's oh rough. I was like, ooh, I have this favor from Jack. Nope, can't spend it. <laughs> can't spend it. I was like, I, being I could take his one material just for fun, but I won't, I won't do that. You know, Robert... Yeah, I that? would be willing to swap my ship here with your ship there. You know, give yourself a little control back over your own city. Just... The Empire believes in representation so of, a, of a city citizen. So that would be two swap think... actions. Yeah. Think... You don't even have to put a ship here. You could just say, take my piece off and put a Robert ship on. But I, I want my yeah, ship. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was just making sure that we had the swap terminology clear and how it was working. I get it, but, like, I also wouldn't do that. Unless... Yeah, I know. I was just, just for the sake of, since we were yeah. having rules kerfuffle. Look, I, oh, I was about to say I'm the first region, but I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not! It's me! What do you say? Get a McDonald's? Mmm! I'm just vibing. I've accomplished everything I want to accomplish in this game. <laughs> All right, then I think Ethan, I will go on ahead and cash in said favor. Mm -hmm. And you I think I'm going to give you this back. That's fine. I don't really Actually, hold on. Wait, what am I what am I doing there? No. Oh. But Robert, oh yeah, oh, I worked Lord. so hard for that building. <laughs> you don't want to swap those ships, Robert. Uh, which ships? These ones. That one and this one. I th if. I'll do it for a favor. What? No, we're swapping one ship for one ship. Why would I give you a favor? Uh, yeah. Wait, okay. yeah, yeah, I'll go on ahead. I'll go on ahead. Okay. Jack that on. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. No. Jack is, so Jack is building <laughs> his staging grounds for the next act. He's going to yeah. shoot out of these foundries. Uh, and then... Jack... Would you would you care so much if we swapped ships here? I would care so much. <laughs> I would care a lot. Yeah. yeah <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you how much I'd care about that one, bud. 
There's a lot. Oh, I should have made Ethan swap ships right here. Dang. All right. I think this is a good move for you to take to double down on, on I mean, that and get plus two. On lock, yeah, and plus two is going to help you catch up since you're the one who's behind at the moment. All right. And so. As much as like it like annoys these... me, that's fine by me. I don't like at these the subtle end, jabs you did in Elon. Summit, I am going to become an outlaw again. Oh, fun. This one for my outlaw. Could you pick a side, bro? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Any more deals? Pick us. Any more deals? Uh, anyone? All right. No, no more deals. All right. Here we go. Crises. Boom. <laughs> all right. So, firstly, what's hold on? Let me let me see what the order is. What do we do first for crises? Uh, well, Robert and I are tied for trophies. Okay. So, so firstly, we do the blight attack. So, and I believe it's in all the uh, arrow systems. Break. Let me see. Arrow oh no! System. Each blight on each blight on the map. Each blight on the map. Oh. Okay. Then what's the point of the arrow? Uh, that's for setup purposes, and probably oh, okay. at some other point in the game. Okay, so these two, there's nothing to deal damage to. Damage, damage blights here. deal one. I think hit. this is the one. So this one's going to deal damage to this Imperial ship, and then one to you, Jack. No, so. it won't. Damage blight deals one hit, first of all, and it only damages Imperial ships. Is that... Oh, that's because there's an Empire ship in there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. An Empire-controlled system. Systems blight damages Imperial ships only. You are correct. Thank you. That's Otherwise, Empire control systems. His sh the Empire ship was it just just uh, the Empire damaged. ship goes down. Yeah, so one damage, so it goes down. But it, it, yeah, and even then it said it only deals one hit, so it would yeah. still only yeah. But no, uh, the definition not to each for control, ship. Right, right is but that the most fresh ships. No, no just Empire. Just Emp I'm pretty sure Empire controls that system because right. Empire just controls everything otherwise blight damages pieces and free pieces the empire oh here pieces. look at this the empire controls all oh. systems that have at least one fresh imperial ship but it was a yeah, damaged so it was imperial control no no no. If so. it has at least one fresh imperial ship that ship was damaged oh okay I so you, said any so, you so you so would, it would damage my ship okay. yeah and it would t and and then the imperial ship would would go down no no, no. it says it deals one damage yes yes it equally hits. it deals one because it's not an imperial, it's not an empire controlled system. The blight deals damage damages pieces of each player, imperial pieces and free pieces separately and equally. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, no, the blight okay. damages so everything. Control, control the, is defined by the most by fresh. Yeah, the, ships the empire doesn't. The, the empire didn't control the system because that. The Empire only controls the system that has the most fresh yeah, Imperial ships. That. So this means it deals one damage to the Empire and then one damage to you because you are the two players that are there. Oh, okay. That's why Blight is a big deal because it deals damage to everything. Oh, okay. But I think that's the only Blight that deals damage. It, that's because for presence and movement purposes, mm -hmm. I ignore the Imperial laws. That's why I was asking that. Yeah. For presence and movement I always ignore that. Mm -hmm. That's why I was wondering Confused. because, yeah, if if I am if the imperial ships are technically mine, then they would only deal one damage overall because it doesn't damage each piece; it damage each separate entity. Okay. And presence wise, so presence, yeah, wise, presence wise, presence wise, it's controlled by the. It's I see. Controlled by so because you know of what I'm yeah because of imperial officers, just the imperial ship would go down. I see that. That makes sense to me. Okay. And keep your ship there. Let's just say, yes, that's okay. how it works. I mean, fine. I'm fine either way, but that's where my confusion was coming yes, from. I see what you're saying. I, I was forgetting about that card. Okay, then yes, it would just deal damage to that Imperial ship. I believe you are correct. Okay, okay I think that's the only Blight damage. Okay, then we do the Court Crisis. So the player with the most captives plus trophies, so that's either Robert or Jack, uh, must tied. either free a loyal city or provoke outrage with a non-outrage resource. So do we both... Let's, do it, or do none of us do it? Well, let's see if there's something... <laughs> let's consult a rubric. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Where's the crises? And by free a loyal city... Does that mean I think that means a city you've destroyed. Or do you think that means turn it into a neutral city? Oh, that would be interesting. A uh, neutral city is... that's What it would take. What it's saying is take a, a, one of your cities and make it a, a, free, oh. a neutral city. That's interesting. Uh, what's the this rule? Is... I don't know what the rule on tie is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it'd be funny if you I'll both had on... to do it. I was about to say, I'll go on ahead and take the... 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, uh... Okay. I mean, if we're both gonna do it, then I'm gonna become hated with relics. That's fine. And then two, two neutral cities are going down. Mm. Somewhere. Or no, it says or. It's not oh, or, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, or, yeah, or, or. or. So I'm, instead okay. of freeing a city, I'm coming yeah. hated with relics. Are you freeing a city, Robert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, freed, I freed a city right here. Okay, nice. That Which is not loaded. Which totally works out better for him anyway. Yeah, probably. Okay, that is it for that okay. phase. No so edicts. So Ethan, or no, Robert has me. Right? Yes, because he sees the initiative like a Throw loser. Ice. Bro, that's uh, going to be interesting. Let's see oh. what kind of spicy play you got, Robert. I'm gonna go on ahead. Oh, aggression! Oh, dang! And I'll, <laughs> I'll declare the ambition too. Oh, nice! I rent. For captives. Um. And that's smart. That was a good one. I will. Oh, and when I declare an ambition, you may place a ship. That is a really good card, dude. I've Great been underutilizing place. it, dude, so much. Just a free ship, like <laughs> it's like, oh heck, he is. And a ship that has any loyal. Yeah. With any loyal ships. Dang. <laughs> Oh, I did this out of order. I'm an idiot. Uh, freak. And I'll... Pair... <clears throat> you... Build... I can't build a starport here, can I? Yes, mm -hmm. you. Yes, you can. You can. I can. Yes. Wait, why? Because you he have control. He has loyal pieces there. But I thought you had to control to build. No, you don't. You just need to have loyal pieces and a place to build. Scenario. And also, Robert, literally screw you. All I wanted was to build a starport there. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and because that's all. Because you seized, uh, yeah. I couldn't. And then, oh, and so then I can build a ship there. Easy. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Your turn. Okay. Um. First, well, actually, do I want to do that? Or should I just play a little safer? Probably safer. Should I be a little crazy? Can we attack the fa your foundries, Jack? Uh, not if they're uh, buried. If they're buried, you yeah, cannot they, attack. They can't oh, be destroyed. But okay. you can mm -hmm. attack... You can attack them to disable. I wonder if the buried foundries won't make it to the next game. I don't think they do. So if they're mm. still buried, then they don't. They don't um, come over. I don't think. Um, yeah, we... The real question is, do I want to pivot? Copy. I think we're gonna do that. That's probably my safest option. Okay. We're gonna pivot into aggression. I'm gonna spin this material to um, flip this foundry nice. there, and that will zero out my objective. Let's go! High five! Yeah, boy! And then I'm gonna battle right here. Fun. And I'm gonna right. use three red dice and a blue. Going for the trophies. Begging yep. for intercept. Honestly, yeah. Whoo! Six bro. to me. Incredible roll. Holy My cow, Jack. Is insane. I don't think I've ever bro, I've never rolled this well. Um damage one of my ships. I'm impressed, honestly. Okay. That's it for me. Uh holy crap, dude. All Dang. surpass. <laughs> And all oh, you know what I should have done? I'm dumb. Oh, well. I wouldn't have I'll, I'll just repair two Imperial ships. I was going to build there, but I can't anymore. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Restore the Empire to its glory. Uh, Alright, I will lead 
I will tax this. So I will take an agent as a captive because I'm taxing your city. And mm. take a psionic. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. And where else do I want to tax? Um, oh, you took the city from me, Robert. <laughs> That's okay. I don't want to jump ahead anyway. Um, I guess. City. I guess. I'll t I don't know if we keep resources between two games. I'll take a fuel. Oh. And uh, I'll take a relic. Sure. Okay. That's it for me. Oh wait, I should have probably influenced this card. Yeah, I'll influence that card instead of taking a relic. Robot. All right, Robert. Okay. I am going to. So a wee little copy. A wee little copy. Guys, we are getting down to the last last wire here. Mm -hmm. Robert, are you gonna be able to zero out your objective or no? What does he have to do? Well, uh, he only needs to control. Well, he needs to control five systems at the end of the and right round. Right now, I control one, two, three, four. So you need to Dang. control more. So you just need to move. Uh, yeah, but I don't. I don't know where one, I can move. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Does it have to be? Tough... You control this one, right? Oh no, because the empire controls this, right? No, no, no. Well, you, well, don't you control this. a gate. A gate. It's not a system. I believe a gate is a system. Let me check it. Let me look at the uh, core concepts. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. So each cluster has four systems, three planets, and one gate. So this is a system. Oh. So one, okay, so yeah, two, three, four, five. Oh. Yeah. Okay, too. Dang, okay. I didn't then that's I... interesting. Are we all zeroing out? Nice. Fun. I think we're all zeroing out. That's you can right. still choose to pivot to another plot line if you do not enjoy yours. Which is always nice as an option to have. It's alright. I don't know. It's interesting. I mean I don't know what it's gonna build to because basically it's just like own systems and be an outlaw. Mm-hmm. That's pretty... Oh, also, don't we need to... This Call of Freedom, don't we need to bury that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oops. <laughs> Can somebody flip this card for me? This is a card. Could somebody flip it? Someone right there? What? Could, could somebody flip it? Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is it... Um, oh, it's still my turn. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking a long time. Oh, dude, that is a cool card. So I'm gonna... Hacks this white city here. Okay, here you go. And take a... I like... Okay. I think I am also going to copy or should I pivot? Uh, I forgot your past earlier. Yeah. Uh, that might be what's Yeah, I'm gonna I think copy and I'm gonna tax this system. Nice. So I get a captive mm -hmm. and a psionic. All right. So I have only have an event card. So basically, I have to end the round here because I'm leading with the card, unfortunately. Um, so I could call a summit and cash in a favor, but that doesn't really do anything, and I don't want to steal stuff Take from you. No so actions I'm, and lead in the round. I'm not gonna. Right. It basically means there's gonna be an event that happens. I'm not gonna call a summit. There's no need. Yeah. All right, so it is a crisis, which means this ship there's gets and just this ship gets damaged. damaged. Like, that's it. Okay. All right, and now Dang, I, was lame. I know. All I'm right. sorry, but now I have to pass the initiative well, to Robert because you can't. You can't. Yeah, doesn't matter. Anyway, play after it. Yeah. So we just discard our cards. No, no. Or do we? No. Robert and I still get to play. You guys have one more round. Uh, oh no. Cards. Ro Bro, yeah, it's just me. Because Robert sees the initiative. Oh, that couldn't have worked out better, bro. Wow. 
I had a two construction. I was like, I guess I just don't get to use this. Um, okay. What you gonna do so with I it? I get to build or repair. I think I'm just gonna build a bunch of crap. Um, I'm going to build. I mean, he takes initiative. Yes. Are you able to? Is it your foundries that let you just build imperial ships for free outside? Only of... on foundries. Okay. But yes. That's cool. I'm gonna build one there, one there. I'm going to build a ship there. One, two, three. I literally can't build anywhere else. <laughs> Dang it! I'm gonna repair the ship. Nice. Is that it? That That's is all four of my actions. And that is the first act. So, Robert, do you zero out your objective at the end of the hand? I do, yes. Nice. Okay, so yeah. all right, so let's score this. So firstly, Warlord. Jack, you have Warlord, so you have six points, right? Yep. One, yep. two, so three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, and Robert. Then I get I get second place. Yeah, how much do you get? Three. 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 All right. One, One, two, three. Two, three. Uh, then for empath, um, oh, uh, Robert gets five, and Jack and I get nothing because we both have one. All right, uh, and then for tyrant, uh, we, we all have one, so nobody gets anything for that one. I I go into negative with my. Why do you go into negative? Because uh, at the end of the hand to get first. Oh, no, no, no. negative ambition. negative power is, is for, that's for power. It's not for this. Oh, that's okay. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> all right, dude. Okay, this is never such a mind. good ending. This really is. <laughs> what a great ending score, dude. Yeah, I probably could have jumped out. But I was like, I knew that it was a, would be a bad idea. I wanted it. To, yeah. I was hoping if I sat back that it would kind of equal out. Okay, so now we resolve the inter.